rolling hills of Eastern Kentucky on the campus of Moorhead State University. Football is back as West Virginia State's made the trek down I-64 to face off against Moorhead State in the opener for both these two right here on ESPN+. Plus. Herner Hurst alongside him, Jared Stacy. Happy to have you along, and let's jump right into this matchup as both teams get ready to kick off this new season on a brand new field, new turf installed here at Jane Stadium during the offseason. Keys to the game brought to you by the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. There's no need to consult the playbook. The winning strategy is to always designate a sober driver because fans don't let fans drive drunk. Well, Jared, keys to the game for West Virginia State, balance on offense. This is a team who averaged above 200 yards both through the air and on the ground last season. The Yellow Jackets went 7-4. and four. At the same time, they need to put pressure on the young quarterback, Carter Cravens, led by Nazir Jones and Jalen Jones, who led the team in sacks last season. They really need to put pressure on the young quarterback and try to force him to make a mistake. For Moorhead State on offense, it's the James Lewis Show the best playmaker the Eagles have. He's their running back. He wears number seven. You'll see him early and often today. And on defense, stop the run. Moorhead State gave up 223 yards per game on the ground last season. They really need to stop the run. Try and make West Virginia State one-dimensional as we head into the opener here at Jane Stadium. Seven and four last year for West Virginia State. Moorhead State just two and nine. No doubt, Moorhead State, a lot of changes in the offseason, not just with the turf, but with the team as well. It'll be interesting to see how these new players develop into the system under Coach Tenure and company. Definitely so. Still Rob Tenure at the helm, still Andrew Strobel calling things defensively for the Eagles, and Carter Cravens made a couple starts last year, one touchdown, three interceptions. He's good on the ground, ran for three touchdowns, and he's at the helm to kick off 2023. And we'll see how Moorhead State does as we head into the season. Seventh year head coach John Pennington over on the other sideline. West Virginia State, like we mentioned, seven and four last year as they will come out with Donovan Riddick at quarterback, 6'1", 190 pound graduate student from Glen Allen, Virginia. And he'll have a lot of help with Felder and McAdoo, the running backs. And no doubt, interesting to see how they will match up with these teams only meeting twice. We'll talk about that series history here in a moment as Caleb Ramser and Ryan Up will go back to return. For Moorhead State, and kicking off will be Brennan Schmidt, 6'4", 175-pound junior. Schmidt will do just about all the kicking, place kicking, kickoffs, and punting. Beautiful weather. Not too hot, not too cold. Sun beaming down, and boy, does that turf look good. Much needed, to say the least. Got to say I agree. Been over a decade, I believe, we discussed that earlier since the turf had been refurnished here at Jane Stadium. It looks great. Excited to see what the Eagles have in store for it this season. Eight-man officiating crew here today, and they are waiting for the official go-ahead from the white hat. And up, and ramps are standing at their own five. And we are underway at Jane Stadium in 2023. And running right up the middle is Ramser, and he's going to start off this season with a great chunk on that kickoff. Brennan Schmidt might have saved a touchdown right there. Rams are really burning up the right sideline. And just a shoestring tackle stopped him just shy of the 40. He could have went all the way, and Schmidt may have saved momentum for West Virginia State as the Eagles get ready to go on offense. Carter Cravens played in six games last year. 57 for 115, three interceptions, only one touchdown. Did have one long 72-yard bomb. As Cravens, a redshirt sophomore from Cypress, Texas, will start this game with James Lewis off his left hip. In motion will go up. Quick dump to Lewis. And Lewis's first touch of the season. Small game. And looks like he'll give him a gain of three as Joyce tackled him from behind, but there was three Yellow Jackets there in the mix. Red State wasting no time whatsoever. We'll hand off this time. Actually, he's going to keep it. 
Gravens with some room to run. Little stutter step at midfield and steps out into Yellow Jacket territory. You'll see right here, Moorhead State pulls the guard and the tackle on the back side, and Cravens is going to read that defensive end, Jalen Jones, off the edge. And he really squeezed down right there to avoid the cutback for Lewis, but didn't account for Cravens in a big game. He was wasting no time. Cravens showing confidence early. You can see it right there on that play. Not scared to take it and run with it. Back to pass this time, and he's walloped. A.J. Joyce once again, two times we've said his name early. He right up the middle for the Yellow Jackets, and Cravens was not ready for that one. Looked like he wanted to throw and let it go at the bottom of his drop. Was just unable to do so. Quick pressure by Joyce, and that's an early sack and has Moorhead State behind the chains on second down. Second down and 17 back into Eagle territory. Go the Eagles. Two receivers each way, and once again, Lewis right off that left hip. Cravens on second and long, high snap, decides to keep it again. This time, not as successful. Pulled down from behind by Nizer Jones. Nizer Jones, one of the leaders on this West Virginia State defense. Team leader in sacks and tackles for loss last season, five and 13 respectively. And makes a good stop there on Cravens on the little read there. Third and long for Moorhead State. You can hear the wind as Cravens takes the snap, going deep down the sideline, and it's picked off. Picked off, and going out of bounds is going to be Nicholas Fannin, and West Virginia State will have the football after the turnover on the first drive of 2023 for Moorhead State. Well, we mentioned it in the open, pressure on Carter Cravens, and you saw it on first down as Cravens was pressured early. Not on this play, however, tried to go with the deep shot to Davis, just cut off there by Nicholas Fan and a nice read as Cravens tried to cover two ball and got burned, and West Virginia State and their dynamic quarterback, Donovan Riddick, will take over. Felder, the running back off his left hip with two receivers each direction. Monroe went in motion. Now Washington in motion, and they'll go to the running back, Felder, and he gets a solid chunk on first down. There's Krizak on the stop right there. Leading tackler for Moorhead State last season with 100 even. Krizak with an interception last year as well. Second and short. Almost three minutes in. Quick dump off to Washington, and he will get the first down, staying on his feet out to the 45. And McCall on the tackle. But he got a few extra yards there after contact. In balance early for West Virginia State, a good eight yard run and immediately through the air, get the first down. Riddick with the shotgun snap and almost fumbled it on the handoff to Felder as Felder keeps on to it and Benza will get the stop for a short game. This is a young Moorhead State defensive line. Benza among the returners from last season. He and Wilson McCraw in there on the stop that time and stuffed the run right there, second nine. Riddick, once again in the shotgun, we'll most likely see shotgun all night for both teams. Quick dump off to Washington. He gets by one defender and is gonna be pushed out of bounds by Krizak once again. And might as well get a recording of me saying Krizak and just have it on a soundboard, Hunter. The guy is all over the place. You'll see right here, nice block on the outside. Might have gotten a little bit of a hold there on Caleb Wines. Nonetheless, third and short for the Yellow Jackets. Third down and three, and this is going to be a free play, and they're going to go deep. And it is going to be caught. That is caught. Ball's on the ground. Recovering it is Moorhead State, but it is a free play. It's going to be offsides on Moorhead State as the ball was caught by Washington, Devin Washington, a junior from Suitland, Maryland. Mentioned his name a few times but there was offsides on that left side of the defensive line for Moorhead State. It was Nolan White. And we're gonna have a chop block called as well against West Virginia State, so wipe it all. And you can see obviously there the offsides. Andre Nolan White, new transfer for Moorhead State. A little antsy to come off the edge with Moorhead State bringing pressure there. Let's try it again at third and three. What do you say? Riddick. With the trio receivers bunched up right. And the handoff and getting tackled in the backfield is Felder. A huge third down play by Moorhead State. 
and Luke Bauer. Johnny on the spot. Bauer, a six foot redshirt sophomore coming in from a linebacker position. New transfer from Akron comes straight up field and is able to really disrupt that handoff. West Virginia State lucky to hold on to the football and a big stop on third and short for Moorhead State and they'll get the ball back after the Cravens interception. Brennan Schmidt on the kick. The junior punter kickoff and place kicker and that's not a good snap and it is almost blocked as that is going to go out of bounds somewhere near the 35 yard line and Moorhead State who had plenty of blocks last year almost had another one right there eight block kick six block punts and it will be Moorhead State basketball when we come back here on ESPN plus Those new tiles are falling right into place until With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always. How do we speed recovery for our patients? Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic time. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. Head State football after the punt from West Virginia State. So far we've seen an interception for the Eagles and a punt from the Yellow Jackets. And the Eagles will start this one in their own territory and go to Lewis on the first play. Cameron Vargas on the stop for the Yellow Jackets. Well, we mentioned the James Lewis show on offense as he gets the carry right there. Nearly blocked a punt before the break. The guy's all over the place and a good carry makes it second short for the Eagles. Second and very short. Got an odd front here for West Virginia State. Eight guys in the box. Ravens from the shotgun. Takes the snap, back to pass. Steps into this one, going deep down the field, and that is going to be off the hands of the intended receiver, Kyle Daly. Coverage on the play there by Justin David. Nice coverage. Beautiful job here, long ball from Cravens, really throws it through the wind, great ball. But just at the last second, Davis gets the hand in there, able to disrupt Daly for just a moment. Good time for play action on second and short to take a shot. Just unable to connect. Cravens on third and short. This time we'll give to Lewis. Lewis bounces off one tackler, squeaks out right and gets the first down. Seeing Cravens throw that pass, Hunter, really has to be a positive sign for the coaching staff after throwing that first interception. Still confident to step into the pocket and honestly throw it such a long pass and hit it on target. Well, there's going to be first game jitters. This is his first year coming in as the starting guy for Moorhead State. Remember, it was Grady Kramer last year, and Cravens took over later in the year. And he comes out, and he still takes a shot. Unwavering confidence for the young quarterback. Tight end in the formation is Harrison Cohen. You'll see him go in motion and bounce over to the left side. Another high snap. 
Cravens will hand off to Lewis, this time going left. And again, four, maybe five on the play as a host of Yellow Jackets get in there and get in on the tackle. Lewis last year, 780 total yards, six touchdowns, average six a carry. At 140 yards per game the final three games of the season, a season high 195 against Dayton in the snow and Chance Harris in the backfield now it looks like. You are correct and they will give to him and he's gonna get a nice chunk all the way past the 45 yard line into Yellow Jacket territory go the Eagles. Lewis there on the stop. Receivers right, one left. The shotgun, Cravens gonna go deep. Down the sideline and it's gonna be wide of the intended receiver, Isaiah Davis. Redshirt junior from Fort Worth, Texas. Looks like Davis thus far is this team's deep threat in the passing game. Talked to Ryan Watts before the season, new wide receivers coach at Moorhead State. Wide receiver by committee, as there's been a lot of turnover at that position. All three starters from last season gone. Nate Bowman at receiver. Caleb Tillman also has checked in. Ravens. Snap, pass out in the flat, and it is going to be complete to Bohm. Just mentioned him from Warner Robins, Georgia. Scott on the tackle from behind. Avery Scott from a defensive back position. Little Ohio concept here in the passing game. A vertical on the outside and about a five yard out from the slot receiver. Cravens reads it correctly, good completion, and third and about four for Moorhead State. Cravens takes the third down snap. Pass complete in the flat to Harris. Cuts back at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, inside the five, and he's gonna find six. Touchdown, Moorhead State. No one could catch him. He weaved left, weaved right. And the first touchdown on this brand new turf here at Jane Stadium belongs to Chance Harris and what an effort that was. Beautiful effort, might have been a blown coverage right here as Harris just leaks out of the backfield and he is wide open in the flat. Makes a man miss and he's off to the races. Nice cutback, downfield blocking from the Eagles and he's in for six. Hazlett on to attempt the extra point, Warren on the hold. McKnight, the snip, snapper. Seven minutes left in the first quarter, and Hazlett puts it straight between the pipes, and it's 7 0 Eagles. First quarter here on ESPN. Centerpoint Energy's newest generation of safe, efficient energy includes capturing and harnessing the natural power of pure sunshine. We are increasing solar in our balanced and reliable energy mix as we power our region with more clean, renewable energy. We're bringing a little piece of the sun to every home and business while reducing carbon emissions and helping create a cleaner environment. It's just a little something for your smart energy future. It was just a few drinks. I'm good. I thought it was good. After every game, we always have a few. It's no big deal. It was no big deal. Hey, I can hold my liquor. I thought I could hold my liquor. Here in the mountains of Eastern Kentucky, we are exploring deep space, preparing tomorrow's workforce, supporting our communities, shaping future generations, 
This is the legacy of Moorhead State, and it's all here to help you soar higher. Eight plays, 67 yards, three minutes and 15 seconds. Chance Harris, 38 yards on the pass from Cravens. And Moorhead State strikes first. Seven nothing with seven minutes on the dot left here in quarter number one. And Moorhead State's Nathan Hazlett set to kick off. And he sends this one end over end kick. And Washington will field from his nine. He'll cut to his left, have it across the 25 and be tackled short of the 30 by a host of Eagles. And West Virginia State will have their second possession. First and 10 from inside their own 30 yard line. Had some encouraging signs on that first drive. Tackle for loss ended the drive on third and short for West Virginia State. See what Donovan Riddick and company have here as they trail by a touchdown to the hosting Eagles. Washington Bunch and Monroe all bunched up on the near sideline. But they will hand off to Felder. Felder has plenty of room. Felder's to midfield, to the 40, to the 30. Can anyone catch him? 20, 10, 5. Joel Felder, 5'11", junior, runs it in from way downtown. 71 yards in West Virginia State. A extra point away from knotting this one up. And you could hear a pin drop right now at Jane Stadium. Well, no better way to answer a touchdown drive than a quick strike. Normally you'd see a touchdown that long through the air, but what a run there by Felder as he followed the blocks. Pancake in the middle and he was free and gone. Nobody could catch that man. Monroe on the hold. Schmidt, extra point is good. 7-7, seven, seven. just 20 seconds since the kickoff and only 20 seconds goes off and we're tied up. West Virginia State with the answer here on ESPN+. Plus. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch. Butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. Back here at Jane Stadium, 7-7, 640 left in the first quarter as West Virginia State answers right back with a 71-yard touchdown run by Joel Felder. And Schmidt sends this one away. Harris will take it from his own six and will run up the far sideline. He's got a full head of steam. He, it's actually not Harris, I beg your pardon. That is actually Ramser on the return. Thompson on the stop. At number four, number one from the angle. <laughs> Tough to tell them apart, but Ramser with a nice return. 
That's 71 yards, and this is an easy drive summary, Hunter. One play, 71 yards, 13 seconds. Great blocking up front. Felder found a seam, and nobody could catch him. Jared tied us right up. West Virginia State, an underdog in this game, not playing like it thus far. They're here to win. So first and 10, Morehead State from their own 44. And Cravens will take the snap and hand off to Lewis. Bounces off one, trying to get around the edge, and he will. He'll make a whole lot out of nothing, and he'll get the first down. Pushed out by Vargas. Let's take a look at her series history presented by Delta Dental. Unleash your smile power with Delta Dental. And these two teams, first mess back in 1992, West Virginia State won 22-0. And their last meeting in 96, Morehead State won 60-22. So one and one the record. And again, that brought to you by Delta Dental. Quick pass out into the flat, incomplete. Intended receiver there for Morehead State looked to be Isaiah Davis. It was right in between him and Mikey Armour. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication there between quarterback and receiver. This early in the season, that's going to happen. Luckily, that one falls to the turf for Morehead State fans. Cravens on second and 10, and it's almost picked off again and caught. That was almost a pick six, and getting his hands in between the ball and the turf for Moorhead State was Kyle Daly, and it went through the hands of Fannin. He almost had another one. Fannin had the pick earlier on the cover two ball down the left side, and he nearly had six there. Great adjustment by Daly to move the down marker up a little bit. Third and six, Cravens having to escape the pocket. He's got room to run. He slides down near the 20. We'll see where they mark him. But a first down and a new set of chains for Morehead State. There's an interesting dynamic. Craven sees man coverage, a little stun up front, and the gap opens. And with his speed, he steps straight up in the pocket and through that seam, and a veteran decision there to slide from a young quarterback. Good signs for the Morehead State signal caller as it stands. Four receivers in the formation. In motion goes Bohm. Hand off to Lewis. Lewis is going to be hit after a couple yards. Looks like it'll be right at the 20-yard line, second down. Important to note a rule change this year. The clock will not stop after first downs, except in the last two minutes of the half and game. So expect games to be quicker, that's for sure. Lewis will bounce over to the right side of Cravens. Two receivers each direction. Cravens three-step drop. Pass over the middle. It's complete to Armour. He's going to be able to stretch out and get the first down inside the 10. Jalen Jones able to trip him up, if you will, to prevent it from being six. Little underneath route here from Armour, drag route. Looked like inside cross on the concept as there was a dig over the top. Jones may have saved a touchdown there with that play. Mikey Armour, the leading receiver last year in terms of receptions, had 30. Did not score a touchdown, however. What a beautiful, beautiful day, folks. I may sound like I'm beating a dead horse. I'm going to mention it so many times, but it is absolutely perfect. First and goal, Morehead State inside the 10. Cravens calls Lewis's number and gets wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. And they're going to say no gain. Leading the charge was Nazir Jones once again. Said his name a few times. That's the leader up front on this defense. He's done a great job so far stuffing the run. Not a very big guy for a nose guard. Just six feet tall, 275, a junior. But definitely playing bigger than he actually is thus far. Nice job by the nose guard for the Yellow Jackets. Statistically, he didn't lose a yard, but the box is back about a half yard. In motion goes Armour. Cravens will take the snap, looking left. He's rushed, trying to escape the pocket, and he's going to be wrapped up. He will gain a couple. Vargas once again. I'm starting to notice a trend here with West Virginia State up front. Definitely quick pressure there, good inside move. And able to get away from that first rush was Cravens, but not able to get away completely and find the end zone. Third and goal. 
See if this could maybe be four down territory. We'll see how Morehead State plays it. Obviously, all depending on this third down play. Cravens back to pass over the middle. It is going to be incomplete. Intended receiver was Daly. Great coverage by Martin. Jai Martin, just nice hands there to cause a incompletion. And we're going to have a timeout on the field. Injured player for West Virginia State. That's a good throw there from Cravens but just able to get his hand in there was Jai Martin. Amari Lewis is the injured yellow jacket down at the 10 yard line. Lewis 6'2", 320 and a junior. If he has to go out, expect Eric Jeter, six foot 305 and a junior. And looking at the pronunciation guide before the game hunter, I thought it was really interesting. Eric Jeter, and they put parentheses like Derek Jeter. A little close there. You know, a bit, bit of a different sport. Definitely probably different athleticism, a defensive lineman versus a shortstop there. But Not the same body type? Don't, don't <laughs> definitely don't think so. Field goal attempt upcoming. Twenty-four yard field goal attempt. Hazlett. Richard Jr. from Danville, Kentucky. Sends this one skyward. And right on point once again. Ten to seven, Morehead State answers back. And we'll keep it right here. At Jane Stadium on the campus of Moorhead State University. Hunter Hurst alongside um, Jared Stacy. Early Thursday night football here on ESPN Plus, and no doubt have plenty of people tuned in, a lot of excitement. The freshmen ran out with the team before the game onto the field. And I must say the tailgate area was as packed as I've ever seen it for it not to be homecoming. Exactly, it almost looked like homecoming out in the parking lot prior to today's game. Good to see that, you know, new era for Moorhead State Athletics, Kelly Wells, the new athletic director here, Rowan County native. And he's really got the community all around excited about what we've got going on here in Moorhead, Kentucky. Hazlett will kick off. Washington back to return. Hazlett, solid, solid kicker for Moorhead State. As he sends this one down the field, and Washington's going to field it from inside his own five. He'll get it across the 20. Out to the 30, 35, 40, and another good return. Here in this one, both teams returning the ball well. McCall shoved him out of bounds, and it's one of those situations you don't know if your special teams coach is, is happy because you're getting these big returns or upset because they're giving them up because both teams will have big returns early. Really a double-edged sword thus far, McCall able to kind of get him out there around the shoestrings. Hazlett came up the field and was able to slow him just a little bit. He might have been gone had those two not been able to get after him. Doesn't look like Felder in the backfield there with Riddick. Felder with the lone touchdown, 76 yards on four rushes. McAdoo is in at running back. And Riddick, Riddick takes the snap, pass out into the flat, incomplete. Intended receiver was Marquis Ray. Looks like Caleb Lyons there on the coverage. Lyons among the returners at corner for Moorhead State opposite Major Daly. Obviously, Krizak still with the safety, sort of in a linebacker type spot right now. Eagles return a lot in the secondary and at linebacker. Riddick will take the snap, handoff to McAdoo, and he'll get across midfield into Eagle territory, tackled by Nile. Mentioned Hazlett. He is on the Fred Mitchell Award preseason watch list, second consecutive season. And that's for the nation's top place kicker, FCS, D2, D3, and NAIA. Hazlett had a really nice year in 2022. Mm -hmm. Just battled through injury most of the way. The Stetson game 
got hit in the plant leg and battled through it the rest of the year. Back to pass Riddick going deep down the sideline looking for Monroe and he dropped it. At the very end it popped out of the hands and the ground didn't do him any favors as he had it in his hands and it just squeaked right out. We'll get a good look right here of it. Riddick nowhere he's going with the ball all the way. Looks left, looks off to safety and Major Daly's beat by a step or two and he's just unable to hold on to that one. Would have been a big gain there for Monroe. And I want to correct myself, I wouldn't say he dropped that by any means. I would just say it more or less popped out of the hands. That one was a tough play and he almost made it. Schmidt on the punt. Good rush by Morehead State and it's going to force Schmidt to have to rush this punt. And that is not going to be a good one. It's going to take a Morehead bounce. And we'll see where they down it at. It'll be inside the 25 yard line as Ramsor is the one who was back to return it, but he never had a chance. That rush on the for Morehead State really caused Schmidt to have to hurry. Lewis and McCall in there on the rush. McCall had more of the inside rush with a chance to block it. He led the FCS in blocked kicks last year. I believe he blocked four. You'll see right here, Lewis off the edge. McCall straight up the middle, little bit of a holder. He probably blocks that punt. And not a great punt off the right foot of Schmidt and Moorhead State sort of dodges a bullet after West Virginia State elects to punt in plus territory. Looks like the injured yellow jacket from last drive is back out there as well. Cravens takes the snap, quick pass out to the right to Up. Up's gonna be tripped up at the 30, no pun intended. And a decent chunk on first down, Scott with the tackle. We mentioned James Lewis and Krizak, both of them on the preseason All Pioneer Football League team. Morehead State with eight blocks last year on kicks. Three of them were by Krizak. Cravens will call Harris's number. Harris is going to be stuffed just shy of the first down, but beyond the 35. Could give a tackle there to a couple Yellow Jackets. Jalen Jones amongst them there. Second on the team as far as returners go in sacks. Nazir Jones out there for this third down and short. The 6'2 redshirt sophomore from Cypress, Texas, Carter Cravens will take the snap, goes to Harris once again, who will get the first down, but not much more out to the 40. And some extracurriculars going on here on the near sideline as we come to the end of the first quarter. 10 to seven, Morehead State leads after one here on ESPN Plus. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. MLB chooses T-Mobile for Business for 5G solutions to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch, butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. Become an auntie, book a flight. Stay four nights, meet the baby, make the baby cry, give the baby back, fly home. Silver tier in a single trip, join one key and move up tiers fast. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. 
It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light-duty pickup. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic time. You know, I'm just feeling a lot of pressure. There's big shoes to fill. It's your time now, Tommy. I know you'll keep it special like your dad did. If we can keep this business growing, I think that's the best way to honor him. Well, I was there for him, and I'll be there for you. About this new location? He would have loved it, Tommy. Let's find a way. The U.S. Open continues through September 10th on ESPN. Fifteen minutes in the books. 10-7 our score. Morehead State leading, and they have it first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. And Cravens will go back to pass to get this second quarter underway, and it is going to be incomplete, overthrowing the intended receiver, Kyle Daly. Six-foot senior. Scott was there running with Daly, but the pass too long. Morehead State started with a split backfield. James Lewis not in the game. It's currently Harris and Ramser. They go seven-man protection right there and try to take a shot, just a little bit overthrown on first and ten. Like we mentioned earlier, shotgun pretty much all game as that one dumped off out into the right. Good for a first down for Ramser. And I jumped the gun there a little bit. He, they're going to say he stepped out before the first down marker. And you can tell the chain gang even as well thought it was a first down. They were starting to move. So he did step out at the 49, so third and short. See if we can get a look on if he did step out here. And, yep, he did. That right foot as he was spinning did catch the white. I like these quick and in rhythm throws for Carter Cravens. Rather than make him have to go through progressions, split the field in half, read one thing, and if it's not there, throw to the check down. It's going real well for him so far. Daly and up come to the near side, tied it in a receiver left. He'll hand off to Harris, who extends out past midfield, and that means it's an eagle first down. Lomax on the stop. First time we've said his name. Keep in mind the rule change in college football. The clock does not stop after a first down. Blitz coming. Craven's going to dump it off. Complete to Cohen. Cohen has turf to run and gets it out past the 35. <laughs> Cohen from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Good blitz pickup by Chance Harris and right across on the little drag route is Cohen. Wide receiver turned tight end this year. And with the spread offense, he's one of the perfect prototypes that tied in for Moorhead State. First and 10 from the 32. Harris with the small chunk to get it inside the 30. Right into a chunk of Yellow Jackets. Moorhead State donning a throwback logo on their helmets tonight from the late 70s. So on a close up of any players. If you think that logo looks a little bit different, well, you're right. And I am always a fan of a good throwback, regardless the sport. Have to say I'm the same way, Jared. Big fan of a bunch of the NFL throwbacks this oh, year. Absolutely. The, new, the old Seahawks uniforms coming back. Second and seven. Cravens looking to pass, goes deep down the sideline, and it's to Daly once again, and once again just slightly overthrown. On the coverage was Blake, Nick Blake, and now third down and seven upcoming. Rob Ten, you're not afraid to let Cravens take a shot. I have to say I like the confidence that Coach Tenure has in his young quarterback in the early going here, Moorhead State. Up by a field goal, but threatening just outside the red zone. Five of seven on third down so far this evening. And 
that's going to be a false start. Looks like on the left tackle right there, James Wayne, I believe. Wide receiver also, Caleb Tillman. He jumped as well, and he's going to be coming out being replaced by Isaiah Davis. Did not see the wide receiver there. Yeah, wide receiver jumped. My apologies, James Wayne. It just happened out of the 22 players I on the field. I was looking at that one at that time. So it's the... So back it up, third down and 12. Pretty obvious, but not what you want to do on third and medium. Not at all, might have moved him out of field goal range. Hazlett has a big leg, but we'll see here on third and about 12. Cravens back to pass, escaping the pocket. He has room to run. He's gonna get inside the 20 in the red zone for a first down. <laughs> Drug down by Jai Martin. Craven's not sliding right here. Unsure of where the sticks are, steps up in the pocket. And as soon as he takes off, puts his shoulder down, gets the first down, and fights for some extra yards. That'll really fire up the rest of the team. You see the quarterback go after it and lay it on the line. On first down. Short gain for Morehead State. As Vargas on the stop of Ramser. Quick rocket toss right there. The spread version of an old-fashioned wing T play, and a good job by West Virginia State to limit that to just a minuscule gain. 17 yards there on that run a few plays ago for Cravens. He had 19 all last year. Granted, sack yards do count against your rushing, but still not that big of a runner as that one is batted straight down into the ground. Nice play there for West Virginia State by Tillman. And I'm sure See, people Wayne here just gets beat outside. Well, attempting to go out for the screen, so you can't really blame him there, but a nice play by Tillman. Gets the hands up, bats that one down. Third and medium again for Moorhead State. Have to think they'll be attempting to contain or possibly spy Carter Cravens right here. He's burned him a couple times with his legs. A lot of field out to his left. Let's see if Moorhead State uses any of it with it on the near hash. Cravens pass over the middle. That is going to be complete. Up in for six. Ryan up the 5'10 junior on the crossing route. Makes the catch and made it look easy from there. These underneath routes are killing West Virginia State thus far. You see up here in the slot, a little squeeze formation. Easy throw. Nate Bohm there holds up. 22 for just a minute, up makes a man miss, into the corner of the end zone, and just like that, it's a two possession game. Hazlett will be on for the extra point once again. Hazlett already had a busy day. 11.02 left in this first half. Good snap, good hold, kick up, it looks good. The officials say it good, and it is. 17-7. Second quarter, Morehead State on top of West Virginia State here on ESPN+. got old so it's time to put her in a home it's the home i've always dreamed about i've been waiting to get old for years and that means i can get my ux people started on that app i need to develop hmm. i'm getting old right now with an expert to explain the differences between bond prices and bond yields introducing old national bank where relationships and results matter you're never too old to get old she's old old national bank get old if you want to make the most of your vacation, there's no better place than the Bluegrass State. Kentucky's 45 state parks offer abundant places to play and diverse accommodations to stay. Take a hike, float your boat, or bike the trails. Pitch a tent under the stars or settle into a lakefront lodge. Tee up for 18 holes, then enjoy a signature meal. Even better, Kentucky residents receive special discounted rates. Plan your trip at www.parks.ky.gov. 
great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Carter Cravens now over 100 yards with 110 yards, two touchdowns, had that early interception, but you mentioned off the air, Cravens really showing some confidence. Has really bounced back from that early mistake, throws in rhythm as soon as he gets to the top of his drop, he's letting the ball go, going through progressions really well, finding the check downs, really like what you see if you're a Moorhead State fan from the young quarterback. Hazlett on to kick off, and this one's gonna be a short kick here that is going to be fielded by Joyce. And whistles everywhere. Did we have a fair catch call? I believe so. Okay, I never saw it, but the official saw it. Some of the Morehead State players confused as well. They didn't see it either way. I can promise you it's gonna be first and 10 for West Virginia State, and we'll see where they mark it. And Rob Tenier is over here chatting with the headlinesman. And it's going to be at the 23-yard line. I have to personally say I didn't see a wave. I didn't see anything any at all. Any indication there was a fair catch. The box is on the 25. The ball's marked back at the 23, so the chains are going to have to move. I think a little bit of confusion for everybody here right now, Hunter. First game jitters all over the board. That's what we can say, too, when we make a mistake. Definitely so. Riddick will take the snap. And we'll hand off to Felder. He's back into the game. We saw McAdoo a couple times in the previous drive as Paul O'Brien gets to stop. Well, if my dad's watching, that's where he'd say, well, Jared, you've already done two football games, so this technically isn't your first, so. Happens to the best of us. Riddick will take the snap, this time back to pass, and it is going to be caught. What a play through the contact for Joe Jones. How did he hold on to that one? Krizak had the initial coverage and the hit. Great job to high point this ball, hold on to it. Nolan White and Krizak just able to trip him up. I think Krizak thought he had a shot at that ball. I think you're right. It looked like he was maybe trying to hop into that passing lane. Yeah, only one interception last year, but the guy's all over the place. I mean, a pick six here against Valpo on homecoming last year. Leading tackler on the team. Washington goes in motion. They will hand off to Felder, though, who runs right up the middle and gets the first down. And I beg your pardon, that was actually McAdoo who was back in, McCall and Daly on the stop. Seventeen seven under 10 minutes. Second quarter here at Jane Stadium on the campus of Moorhead State University. Riddick tucks and runs. Gets near the 40-yard line. Holmes on the stop. Holmes and Keenan Wolf up the middle combined for 117 tackles last year. They're leaders in that linebacking core. A lot of new faces, but definitely some experience through the transfer portal both on the defensive line and in that linebacking core. They will hand off the Yellow Jackets to McAdoo. He'll have a short game, third and manageable coming up, third and seven to be exact. Benza on the stop for Moorhead State. Benza and Wilson McCraw, they sent pressure there with Joel Holmes. Looks like the Eagles may go with a dime package. Six defensive backs on the field as it stands. Four receivers in the formation. Riddick takes the snap on third and seven. Pressure's on and he's walloped from behind. Luke Bauer gets the sack. The six foot red shirt sophomore from Akron. Well, we mentioned new faces along the defensive line. Luke Bauer, the Akron transfer, and he just blows straight off the edge right there past Chisholm. No shot for Riddick right there. A big sack and Moorhead State up 10. A chance to extend that lead when they get the ball back right here. Schmidt on the punt. Ramser 
standing at his own 25 yard line. Moorhead's bringing the house and they're gonna block it. They had eight last year, eight block kicks, six of them punts and they start off 2023 with one right here. What a play for Moorhead State, it's Reed. Cairo Reed, a new face as well. Right up the middle, Moorhead State, I mean, they brought everybody except the returner, and Reed nearly catches that punt. They brought everybody except me and you, Hunter. I think I saw a couple fans out there. My goodness, what a play and what a shot in the arm for Moorhead State, who already has a 10-point lead. The new special teams coordinator, Ryan Watts, as well as the wide receivers coach among his coaching duties, has to be excited about that. Moorhead State last year led with Miles Fishback, who's now at Texas A&M as the special teams coordinator, and Watts picking up right where he left off. Whole team is bought in on special teams, and you see it right there. Cravens takes and will hand off to Lewis. Not really going anywhere on first and goal. You mentioned uh, the former special teams coordinator going to Texas A&M. Well, when your team leads all of FCS with eight block kicks, six of which punts, like I mentioned, yeah, you're probably going to get some attention. Good thing to have on your resume. So six block punts last year, and they've got number one in game number one this year. They're going to say Lewis gained a yard, and I think that's generous to give him a yard there. I agree with that. Stuffed up the middle by that West Virginia State defensive line. You know, you look at them compared to the Moorhead State offensive linemen, they're not as tall, but they all have low centers of gravity, and they're really holding their gaps thus far. They'll call Lewis. Actually, no, Cravens is going to keep it, and he's going to pass for the touchdown, Nate Boehm. He fooled me, and he fooled half of West Virginia State's defense as he faked it to Lewis, rolled out to his right, and beating the coverage, Nate Boehm. Redshirt sophomore from Warner Robins, Georgia. We'll get a great look of it here. Beautiful job. Play action right here. GY counter. They pull the right guard in Cohen. And just a little seam or a pop route right over the top. And Moorhead State about to make this a three-score game. Weathered the storm of West Virginia State early. And Hazel it on for the PAT. Hey, Boehm played previously at Mercer. Moorhead State will go to Mercer later this year as the extra point for Hazlett is up and good. 24-7, 7.02 left second quarter, all more at state here on ESPN+. Plus. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hot, hot. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the same. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99, it's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Oh, man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working, too. 24-7 or score. As Hazlett on to kick off once again. Hazlett. 
Morehead State had an interception earlier, but they have turned it around. Pessoa back to return, standing at about his own six yard line. First time we mentioned his name. And he's gonna come up and field this one from the 10 yard line. He's gonna make a move out to the left. Ramser is gonna wrap him up first and he'll be dropped right there at the 20 yard line. Ramser doing a little bit of it all. So first and 10 for West Virginia State. They will get the ball to start the second half. Morehead State will kick off to them. Important to keep in mind. Still a decent amount of time left in the half. West Virginia State would be important for them, especially in terms of momentum and confidence, would be important for them to really put together a drive here and be able to maintain some success on the offensive side of the ball. Felder in the backfield with Riddick. Riddick, three of five today with 23 yards. He'll pitch over to Felder, and Felder is going to be rushed out of bounds past the 25-yard line. Holmes there rushing him out. Felder was 76 yards on the day before that play, but 71 of those coming on one play. 71-yard touchdown run, the lone touchdown for West Virginia State, and we had all kinds of movement in the line. I think we may have a legal motion right here. I don't think everyone was quite set before the snap. West Virginia State tried to go hurry up, and it may have burned them. And it is going to be a false start. That's one of those plays that just looks weird. You don't know exactly what happened, but you just know that there's definitely something off. We'll get a good look of it here. Everybody trying to get set. 76 goes a little bit early, the right guard. Morehead State able to stuff the run, and outside of that big carry for West Virginia State on the touchdown, not much on the ground. That penalty negates that five-yard gain, and they'll dump it off to Felder, who will barely get back to the line of scrimmage as Rogers will get him on the stop. Joel Holmes in there as well on the coverage. They tried to go with a little swing screen there. Holmes sniffed it out, slowed up Felder just a bit. And Rodgers comes and cleans up third and long. Just like that, third and eight. Riddick takes the snap. He's going to go down the sideline and has a man open. And that's good for a first down out to midfield, complete to Monroe. Nolan White on the stop. But Monroe finding all kinds of space right in front of that West Virginia State bench. Riddick gets to the top of the drop and just rips it wide there. Looked like possibly cover two. And a quick snap there. Pass out to Bunch complete. That's Jawan Bunch from Raleigh, North Carolina, 5'8 senior. And obviously the play beating us back from the replay. That's how quickly West Virginia State is going right now. Sometimes you can go up tempo and simplify things. Seems that's what the Yellow Jackets are doing right now. Riddick fakes the handoff and passes out in the flat once again to Monroe, and that's complete forward progress. We'll have him out near the first down to the 41 as Krizak will get credit for a stop. Quick passes. Remember, Riddick took a big shot from Luke Bauer on the sack that ended the last drive. Doesn't look like West Virginia State is going to give that Morehead State pass rush any time to put pressure on Riddick on this drive as West Virginia State has third and short. And you have to think here in plus territory, they may go for it on fourth down. Third and short. They hand off and that's gonna be enough for the first down for the Yellow Jackets as Porter on the stop. Getting that first down was Felder. You know, with the advent of the spread offense in college football, the front seven is really now the front six. A lot of teams stay in that nickel package. Rover, or Porter rather, playing sort of the Rover spot for Moorhead State. We've got some pre-snap action here. Multiple Moorhead State players jump. Now it's just a question of if they were the first to move or if there was some movement on the offensive line for the Yellow Jackets. Looked like to me Moorhead State might have entered this neutral zone right there. We're going to have a meeting of the minds right here. Looks like Moorhead State's going to bring pressure. And yeah, that looks like Moorhead State jumped to me. We'll see what the call is. Mark it off five yards. At just the second penalty of this game, all three penalties in this game, Hunter, just five-yard penalties. 
Very clean game thus far. You know, you like to see that as a football fan. Don't want to see, you know, penalties dictate the game. And they haven't thus far. First and five, so West Virginia State with an opportunity to get a quick first down here. Riddick keeps it himself, cuts back to the left, and is going to be tripped up by Krizak. Like Cairo Reed, who blocked the punt, was initially out there. Riddick on the pull, able to make him miss, but he slowed him up just enough so Krizak could come over the top. Second and four. Riddick will take the snap, quickly look out right, and has a man open for a first down. Monroe once again, and he's going to be wrapped up by a host of Eagles, mainly by Caleb Lyons. Lions there on the coverage, and it looks like looks like Krizak actually is going down for Moorhead State. Krizak down on the field, 24 to seven. Our score with 3:15 left, second quarter here on ESPN Plus. It's just a few cocktails at happy hour. It was just a few cocktails at happy hour. <laughs> Good try. There aren't any cops around. I didn't think there were any cops around. I drink and drive all the time. Sir. Sir, you've been in a serious crash. I need you to hang on, okay? Fiercely independent. A leader on the playing fields, in the classroom, among its fans, and throughout their communities. For 75 years, the Ohio Valley Conference has built a legacy of athletic accomplishment, academic excellence, and social justice leadership that has strengthened the conference and this region. That's why its 10 member schools proudly say, this year and every year, you have to OVC it. A one, one. It's the excitement of the crowd, the crack of a bat, the sound of your own heartbeat, the roar of the engines. The spirit of competition runs deep here, from the dirt track to the cheap seats. Whether you're screaming from the stands or taking your place in the limelight, Southern Illinois is your ticket to all the action. In sports venues and recreational facilities for whatever your obsession is. Come to cheer, come to challenge yourself, but discover so much more when you visit SI. First and 10 for West Virginia State from the Eagle 24. Riddick, graduate student from Glen Allen, Virginia, will take the snap and looking to pass on first down. He will go for the end zone and that's gonna be a touchdown. He finds Joel Felder. Felder, the 5'10 junior, played previously at Florida International with the touchdown for West Virginia State. Just dynamic right here. They get the running back in the slot. Felder is able to beat the safety on a little fade route. Beautiful ball from Riddick and a great answer for West Virginia State. Riddick now nine of 11 for 93 yards and a touchdown. On for the extra point is Brennan Schmidt. Kick up, looks good for my angle and so the officials. 24 to 14, back and forth we go here on Jane Stadium on ESPN+. Plus. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. 
and we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy, just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. At Doth's, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you build an all-pretzel pantry with a biometric security system. Dots, sensationally seasoned pretzels. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. All right. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Schmidt on to kick off for West Virginia State after the 20-yard, 24-yard touchdown pass from Riddick to Felder. As that kickoff is going to go out of bounds, flag obviously coming out at a nine-place, 79-yard, four-minute, one-second drive, and Schmidt with the PAT. Looks like West Virginia State went with the same tactic Moorhead State did. Both teams, when kicking deep, were not having a lot of success. Great returns by both sides, and they went with a pooch kick, but smart play there by Ramser and James Lewis. Let that one bounce, and it kicks out of bounds. Moorhead State will start at their own 35. Referee here today, Drew Myers, umpire Rob Cowles. Headlinesman Daniel Palmer, line judge Jason Edler. Ethan Gunter is your back judge. Quentin Nichols, your field judge. Ed Barber is your side judge, and your center judge is Andrew Ison. I want to make sure to mention those officials. So from the 35-yard line, first and 10 for the Eagles. Cravens will take the snap and hand off to Lewis. And he's not going to go much of anywhere, maybe a gain of two. Jones on the tackle. These officials have had a pretty easy night. Only three penalties called, and they all are, like I mentioned earlier, the five-yard variety. Yeah, nothing too difficult for them to sort out thus far. Eight yards to go for the first on second down. Cravens, quick dump off to Cohen. Cohen upended at the 45-yard line by Jai Martin, but he has the first down. Now to the 46, they say he got credit. And Bit of a mismatch on size there between Martin and Cohen. And if you're Jai Martin, that's about all you can do in space against Harrison Cohen is really just chop the big man down and he ended up flipping him over. New set of chains. Craven pump fakes left, goes back right, completes to Daly. Not a huge gain, but nice composure to go through the progressions. Have to agree with that. Craven's initially looking left. A bit of a long throw there as he started to drift to his left as the protection started to break down. You'll see Jalen Jones coming in off the edge, but Craven stays composed and makes the completion a little five-yard gain for Moorhead State. Cohen's bounced out to that right side with a receiver. Two receivers left and Lewis in the backfield with Cravens on second down. Craven's back to pass once again. He's going to go deep down the sideline, and it is going to be picked off. Another interception in this one. This time it's Jai Martin, the sophomore cornerback, getting the interception with 1.10 left here in this first half. Looked like cover two man right here. You've got man-to-man -man on the outside, a bit of a spy in the middle. Martin from the safety spot comes over, and he just high points that football. Davis really had no chance. A bit of an ill-advised throw there by Cravens. Really, two the three mistakes he, he's made, two of them have been picked off, both on deep balls down the left side, and one nearly a pick six earlier for Fannin. And West Virginia State in deep in their own territory. And West Virginia State will 
receive the kickoff to start the second half. Keep that in mind. Quick dump off out to the right. That's going to be complete to Washington who gets the first down, but a flag on the play as the clock stops. That's gonna be a hold on the outside. Caleb Wyans was there and it looks like Monroe is gonna be guilty as charged. So this will be half the distance to the goal with it being inside that 10 yard line. So if my math is correct, eight, divide that by two, that's four. Yeah, you'll see right there, Lions has him beat all day and Monroe tried to sell it, but did not go too well. And we've got an injured Yellow Jacket appears on the offensive line. Injured Yellow Jacket with 102 left in the second quarter, 24 to 14. And it is John Fitzpatrick, six foot, 285 pound graduate student. And earlier in the season like this, you see a lot of cramps, especially when it's in the, it's not, it's not hot today, but you know, warmer than it'll be in October and November. Definitely so, we're in the mid 70s and you also have to think this is their first game action of the season, playing on new turf as well. That might have something to do with it, but it appears he's walking off under his own power and he's gonna get worked on by the trainers over there on the sideline. And I believe Jeremy Thomas, the senior will come in for him at left guard. Hey, that turf is nice. Got a chance to walk on it before the game. My first time actually seeing it in person. So inside their own five, West Virginia State will have it first down. Riddick will take the snap and hand off. And this is going to be a huge chunk to get them out past the 10 yard line as that was Butler on the run, Porter on the stop. I said huge chunk, nothing massive, but huge in the aspect that you get out from, you know, your own back door. Looks like Noah Benza was down there as they stopped the clock. Got about four or five Eagles right here, Porter, Benza, McCraw, and he's just able to push the pile and move out to his left. Keep on trucking, you know, good gain right there. Get you, you know, out of the shadow of your own end zone. You get the ball at half. 51 seconds left in the half. You'd like to get a first down right here and be able to sort of run the clock out or maybe even attempt to get in field goal range. All three timeouts remaining for both sides. Second down, Riddick fakes the handoff, comes to the near sideline and has it complete to Johnson who will step out of bounds and will have the first down. Like Major Daly in coverage right there. So a new set of change with 46 seconds first half. Riddick goes out in the flat to Washington. Washington comes back to the middle of the field and he's gonna be drugged down by Luke Bauer. And we're gonna have a timeout taken by West Virginia State. Stay tuned at the half. Hunter will look at our halftime stats brought to you by Digital Scoreboards. And then I will come back with new athletic director here at Moorhead State University, Kelly Wells. Kelly, a athlete at the local high school here in Moorhead, Round County Senior High School, a great athlete here at Moorhead State, and family, not just himself, deeply, deeply rooted in MSU athletics. He's been deeply involved. He's been at every single athletic event Moorhead State's had, you know, since he took the job in July. You know, it's been really good to have him around, have someone who's familiar with the area can connect with the fans and really get people excited about what Moorhead State is building. And the crowd on hand here today shows a lot of what he's done in his time as athletic director, a little over a month and a half. And there he is right there, you know, chatting it up with the fans in attendance. Second down and short, Riddick back to pass. Riddick's gonna be rushed and he's gonna go down in the backfield. Like Andre Nolan White. Nolan White gonna get credit for it. And he came up excited. We'll get another replay of it here. They run a little stunt, a little twist game between he and Colby Nile. And Nile does exactly what he's supposed to do. Brings on a second offensive lineman. White with his speed. Breaks back inside. Free rush to the quarterback and he's able to make the play. And I believe Moorhead State called the timeout. Andre Nolan White. 
230-pound redshirt sophomore from Rockland, California. 24, 14, 27 seconds left. And the officials calling for the teams back out onto the field, a third down upcoming. It'll be third down and nine, a short nine at that. Five receivers in the formation. Riddick, all by himself in the backfield, will take the snap. Passes out to the right, and that is going to be complete. Falling to the turf after the first down is Monroe, the senior from Rochester, New York. And another timeout will be taken with 21 seconds. And that is their second timeout, so you were right, Hunter. The timeout previously was taken by Morehead State on that third down. A little bit of a deeper drive concept right there as Monroe comes underneath of a dig route and he's able to make the catch. Holmes was trying to get back but was just beat as his momentum going the other direction and a good first down there for West Virginia State. You know, I've been really impressed with throws in rhythm from Riddick. You know, he really hasn't made too many mistakes. He's been hit with a couple pressures. I believe Morehead State has two sacks on the day. Besides those, the offensive line has held up well, and he's been able to find his guys and let them make plays. And they only trail by two scores, you know, an opportunity to get in field goal range, one timeout left for the Yellow Jackets. We'll see what they have here. So from the, their own 33, Yellow Jackets will have it first and 10 with a new set of chains. Riddick back to pass. He's being flushed and just heaves it to the sideline. Intended receiver there was Butler, but he was – being Riddick, just trying to get it away. Bauer there for Morehead State. Morehead State sent six, played man behind it, and Bauer straight up the middle had the sack earlier off the edge. As Andrew Strobel dialing up pressure and trying to keep the big play out of the fold for West Virginia State. Brennan Schmidt warming up on the sideline, the place kicker, and here's a good run for West Virginia State out to midfield. It's Butler again. And the last timeout for West Virginia State will be taken with nine seconds left. Morehead State, a bit of confusion up front right there. And before they can get set, off goes West Virginia State. And that is a big play. You know, right now you're in Hail Mary range, obviously. No timeouts left, so you have to think they're going to go with some outbreaking routes here and try to get 10 to 15 yards for Schmidt to be able to have an opportunity to make this kick. Currently where they are, Justin Tucker's not coming off that West Virginia State sideline, so I don't think they're quite in field goal range as it stands. I wonder what the limit will be to kickers because they, they always seem to always be pushing the envelope in the NFL. I honestly, I really don't know. You see Tucker all the time in warm-ups kicking from 70 to 75 and especially in some of these domes where it's literally the perfect environment. First and 10 from midfield, West Virginia State has nine seconds to play with here in this second quarter, first half winding down. Riddick will take the snap. It will be complete to the near sideline. That will be Nolan Johnson down to the 41. 58 yarder from here. That's a, took the words out of my mouth. Four seconds left. I think you have to go for the end zone here. Agree with that. Moorhead State backing up into prevent defense. Looks like McCall, Krizak, and McClellan back there. Krizak's going to switch out with Caleb Lyons. Three receivers right. Bunch by himself on the near sideline. Butler in the backfield with Riddick as Riddick looking. This will be the final play of this first half as Riddick running. He'll escape the pocket and be drugged down inside the 30. He's going to be drugged down by Noah Benza. And this first half will come to a close. 24-14, Morehead State leads West Virginia State here in the home opener for the Eagles. Hunter Hurst will have some halftime stats, and we'll have an interview with Kelly Wells later here at this halftime. 24-14, Morehead State leads West Virginia State here on ESPN+. With the Home Depot app, 
The tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What do you Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? See how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our mango berry Cosmo or mango monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our mango bacon brie flatbread is a total vibe. Get your mango mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's tropic time. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light duty pickup. I used to watch the Heisman House every year on TV. And I'd always wonder, is it real? It's very real. Take a little bit more up the top. Now that I've been here a while, it's a lot like campus. We have roommates. Hey, Caleb, just try and keep it down. It's nap time. Of course there's a gym. Ten. All right, people, here we go. Looking good, RG3. No, you're looking good, RG3. Yeah, so it's a lot you like... Room, rookie. We're doing a ticky top. Bound, 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 Just like bound. campus. Wait, wait. Half time from Jane Stadium. We'll take a look at the first half stats brought to you by Digital Scoreboards. A proud supporter of the OVC, Digital Scoreboards provides indoor and outdoor displays. Again, halftime stats. West Virginia State leads the way in total yards, 257 to 233, 124 to 100 on the ground. Both teams with 133 passing yards through the air. Two turnovers, both interceptions by Carter Cravens, the lone two in the ballgame. Both teams with two penalties, 10 yards against. And Moorhead State leads the way in first downs, 13-11, 24-14 your score. Three touchdowns, two interceptions for Cravens. 14 for 17, 133, a touchdown, no picks for Donovan Riddick. And again, the leading rusher, Joel Felder, seven attempts. 12 per carry, 84 yards, and the 71-yard touchdown. Again, those brought to you by Digital Scoreboards, a proud partner of the OVC. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? 
At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the same. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What do you want? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry eats called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? Book a work trip, earn one key cash, shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a get away from work trip. Use one key cash, order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com and Verbo. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. Cycling was a lifesaver. It really was. You know, when we first talked about the business, I could tell it was more than just a new direction for you. Yeah, it's a full-time passion now. Wasn't the easiest journey, was it? Hanging on for the ride, that's half the fun. Staying ahead of your competition, that's the other half. There's always more ground to cover. Let's find a way. At the half, Morehead State 24, West Virginia State 14. First game of the season between both of these two schools and first game of the season and first ever football game for Kelly Wells, new athletic director here at Moorhead State. And Kelly, we were talking off the air before we got on here. Is it everything you thought and more? It, it really has been. You know, every second, every moment that I'm on campus just brings back memories at all times. And uh, just to be able to have an opportunity to serve this area and serve our school is really uh, been a dream come true. Even even on days that are challenging, it's been the best experience that I could ever ask for. And you kind of see things kind of come together, the partnerships we're developing. And uh, it, it's just a really fun, exciting time for Morehead State Athletics. Talk a little bit more about that, you know, because this is not just a new job. It's not a new career. This is a coming home for you. I mean, not just you, but your parents so entrenched in MSU Athletics, you at the high school, you as an athlete here. Just, it has to be kind of surreal some mornings when you get up and you look in the mirror. It, it really is. I, I have to pinch myself sometimes. And, uh, you know, it really has the journey that I've been on throughout my career and, and certainly my early days here in Moorhead is uh, to come full circle. Most people don't get that opportunity. You don't get a chance to, to come home and be in a position where you can really impact and uh, try to make things as good as they possibly can be. And you know as well as I do in athletics, there's not a finish line. We, we will never reach a spot. We just stop. Uh, it's always growth. It's always trying to find the next good thing. And I'm thankful to be a part of Dr. Morgan's team. And uh, we've got a lot of plans, a lot of goals. And uh, certainly I think the community has a lot of expectations we've got to meet up with. Obviously a lot's changed in the college landscape the last five to ten years. You look at NIL, you look at conference realignment, especially you look at the Ohio Valley Conference and some of the movement that's taken place in it. What do you see as one or two of your bigger challenges over the next five, ten years as an athletic director here at Moorhead State? Yeah, you know, a lot of my first part of this has kind of been just overseeing and looking and seeing what things were doing great, uh, where are some areas of impact, what are some things we're doing amazing, 
and it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a long list at times to try to figure out which ones you want to tackle first. So I think strategically, you know, getting ourselves in a position where we're competitive uh, in all of our leagues with the PFL and being competitive in it. Obviously, the OVC is a totally different dynamic it's ever been. Uh, new rivalries, the natural rivalry, some of those has kind of gone and trying to develop different ones. And, you know, even when you look at a travel party, uh, you don't kind of know who our partner is going to be, those kind of things. So it's a little bit unique in that regard. But we are the founding members of the OVC, and I'm super proud of that. We've got to do a lot of uh, planning and making sure we keep that as a strong unit uh, because the OVC is an identifier to Moorhead State, and we want that to be a piece of us. And uh, football is obviously in the Pioneer Football League, and we want to make that as good as we can. And creating pathways and things of that nature are conversations we're having. But uh, we want to compete every single night we're out here and, uh, you know, off to a good start here, great first half, and we're thankful for that. In 20 years, or if whenever you decide to hang up, you know, your career, what do you want to be known for here at Moorhead State? What do you want to be that legacy? Uh, I, it's a great question, and I, I don't know if I've even had time to even ponder that. And, you know, my biggest uh, legacy, I guess, would be to be a partner of this university to find – whatever its best version looks like. And that's just not on the athletic side of things. I'm a very proud graduate, two-time graduate of the business school and education school. So I, I want our school to flourish. I want it to continue to grow. I know we're a top 15 uh, university in the region. You know, I'm very competitive. I like to see us get in that top 10 in that regards as well as our athletics. And, you know, the more championships we win is great, but also seeing those student athletes come across the stage at the AEC is as important to me as anything. And Maybe just creating that, that special opportunity that people feel the same way I do about this place uh, while they're here and when they leave. Well, Coach, I'm horribly biased, so to say I'm excited uh, would be an understatement because I've, I've known you my whole life. So super happy to have you here at Moorhead State, and from all the fans and, and boosters and supporters I've spoken to, that feeling is, is with everyone. So well, happy to have you here, and uh, you've got a lot of fans and made a lot of uh, smiling faces well, so far. Well, thank you. We're, we're pumped, and uh, as we depart, go Eagles. Absolutely. 24-14, Moorhead State leads West Virginia State here at the half. Second half kickoff coming right up here on ESPN+. Plus. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What's your order? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you going to order something? Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. 
Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Oh man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working too. Jane Stadium on the campus of Morehead State University. The home opener for Morehead State as West Virginia State's made the trek down I-64. And Morehead State leads here at the half, 24 to 14. Second half kickoff here on ESPN Plus when we come back. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to more wow, kimai desu ka? I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. Book a work trip. Earn one key cash. Shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip. Use one key cash. Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted with America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance it's your journey own every mile at the Hyundai getaway sales event now's the time to get in and get away right now get up to 750 bonus cash on the Elantra or 3.29 percent APR visit by Hyundai.com today how do plastic bottles turn into this. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Oh man, the way Bryce is able to cover the whole field is incredible. Yeah, he's really spreading it around. You guys could help, you know. Just doing our jobs, Bryce. Just doing our jobs. Yeah, we're working too. Second half, right around the corner. Morehead State 24, West Virginia State 14. Morehead State will kick off to start this second half. Hunter, what are you looking for as the Eagles kicking unit jogs out onto the field? Mainly on the ground for West Virginia State. They had the one big carry. Outside of that, haven't been able to generate too much. 
We'll see if they like to keep it on the ground. It's just a 10-point game, 30 minutes of football left to go. And for Moorhead State, continue to get these in-rhythm completions to Carter Cravens. I want to see them with the lead, if they can keep it that way, lean on the ground game. And James Lewis he said in the pregame, James Lewis, the best playmaker on offense, hasn't really been featured a ton as it stands. And take care of the football if you're Carter Cravens and just lead your team to a victory as we get ready for the second half. Devin Washington back to return. Let's see if they go pooch kick it. Yeah. And it is going to be a little bit pooch kick to the right. Coming forward, that's Joyce who grabs it. And he's going to be wrapped up shy of the 35. So that will be where West Virginia State starts first and 10. So Joyce now has a sack in this game, a tackle for a loss, and about a 12-yard kick return. So all over the place. Why not? Both quarterbacks, interesting stat, threw for 133 yards. They both threw the exact same yardage. A little different completion percentage. Riddick about 82%, 14 of 17 in the first half. Very efficient. Two receivers each direction. Riddick will fake the snap. Dump off and it is going to be incomplete. What a wallet. My goodness. Zane Porter with a heck of a hit. The old days they'd call this a hospital ball, a little play action and Felder never sees it coming. Clean legal hit, shoulder to the midsection. Felder's gonna feel that one for a little bit. You can tell it right now, he's a bit hunched over next to Riddick. Second 10. Riddick on second down from the 34 will hand off. Felder gets the carry. Post to Eagles there on the stop. He'll gain a yard on the play. Third and nine. Obviously a lot of time left in this one, Hunter, but a big play here. Big for the momentum if you're West Virginia State. Moorhead State with a fresh set of pass rushers going to pin their ears back and come after Riddick right here. Two receivers each way, Riddick back to pass. Good coverage, pass is going to be complete for a first down. McCall on the hit. It was complete to Devin Washington. West Virginia State's going to hurry up. So out to the 46, first and 10. Hand off to Felder. And he gains a couple. Ben's on the stop. And we mentioned it at the top of the broadcast. Morehead State young on that defensive line, but they do have depth. That was something Rob Tenure talked about a lot at media day was the depth of this team, their competitiveness. And especially up front, you want to rotate those guys quick and keep them fresh against the same five offensive linemen. Riddick will dump it off in the flat. That is complete to Felder. Felder spins back towards the middle of the field and will get a nice run still on his feet inside the 40. Daly finally able to drag him down. That's Major Daly. They go with a little screen here. Moorhead State brings pressure. Perfect play call and a nice catch by Felder. And you see McCall has him, but he just can't bring him down. He spins out of a tackle, and Daly eventually is able to wrap him up and get him down. It looks like that's Wilson McCraw being helped off from Moorhead State. Felder will come out as well. New running back in for West Virginia State. That will be Butler off the left hip of Riddick. I don't believe we've seen him yet. Pass out in the flat in front of the Moorhead State bench is complete to Monroe down into the red zone. Lyons drags him down, but another big gain and a solid opening drive in this second half for West Virginia State. Moorhead State in zone, and there's just nobody in between Lyons and Krizak to cover Monroe right there. Monroe having a nice game for the Yellow Jackets. Two receivers each direction. Riddick by himself in the backfield. He'll hand it off to the man in motion. Trying to get around the edge is Butler. Holmes on the stop, and Butler will get it inside the 10. 
Butler did a nice job right there reading the block of number 26, Joe Jones, blocking in the slot on that little jet sweep. You see right here, Jones blocking for him ahead. Zane Porter trying to read that block and set the edge, unable to do so, and it'll be inside the 10 for West Virginia State. Second and five. Riddick, quick shovel forward, and that's gonna be a touchdown for West Virginia State. Joe Jones scores for six. That'll count as a passing touchdown. A little shovel forward. And a good play design here. Absolutely, you've got sort of a speed option look to the right and just a shovel back inside. A popular play, a game winner in the 2015 playoffs. Carson Palmer to Larry Fitzgerald. And that's been popularized by Andy Reid in Kansas City in the NFL. And you see West Virginia State use it there and it's a one possession game. Schmidt on for the extra point. Monroe on the hold. Kick up, and the kick is good. Opening drive leads to seven points for West Virginia State. 24-21, second half here on ESPN+. Plus. have a few. It's no big deal. It was no big deal. Hey, I can hold my liquor. I thought I could hold my liquor. Centerpoint Energy's newest generation of safe, efficient energy includes capturing and harnessing the natural power of pure sunshine. We are increasing solar in our balanced and reliable energy mix as we power our region with more clean, renewable energy. We're bringing a little piece of the sun to every home and business while reducing carbon emissions and helping create a cleaner environment. It's just a little something for your smart energy future. Here in the mountains of Eastern Kentucky, we are exploring deep space, preparing tomorrow's workforce, supporting our communities, shaping future generations. This is the legacy of Marhead State, and it's all here to help you soar higher. Back here at Jane Stadium. A nine yard touchdown pass from Riddick to Jones. Eight plays, 66 yards, three minutes and 11 seconds. And this is going to be a pooch kick that is going to be fielded on the far sideline for Moorhead State. I believe that was Zane Porter. I believe you're right. Porter gonna bring that out to right at the 40 yard line. If you go back to that third and nine, we mentioned that was a big play for West Virginia State. They're able to convert to Washington over the middle. And really after that, Moorhead State was not able to get back off of their heels. And West Virginia State, the shovel pass to Jones for the touchdown, and it's a one possession game. 24-21. Moorhead State back out there. from the shotgun. Take it and hand off to Harris. Harris trying to get around the edge is going to be hit from behind by Christian Thompson. Short gain out to the 43 yard line. Second and seven. Absolutely beautiful day. And if you think that turf looks good, well, it's the first game on it. Brand new turf. The pouring of the track starts this week, actually. Kelly Wells mentioned that off the air when we wrapped up her interview. Cravens fakes the handoff, and he's going to be sacked. Tackled in the backfield by Avery Scott, sophomore defensive back. 
Yellow Jackets dial up some pressure with a defensive back here. Cohen is on a route, so that's he's not technically supposed to pick up that guy. Could have chipped him a little bit, but Cravens, no time to get that ball out, and it's third and long. And all the momentum in favor of the Yellow Jackets thus far in the second half. Cravens looking at that third and 16 to be exact. From the left hash. His own 34-yard line is going to pass, and it's complete. Nice pass complete out to Ryan Up, but he is hit hard, short of the first down marker by Justin David. Now you've got a decision here if you're Coach Tenure. Let's see what he does here on fourth and short. Have not seen James Lewis in the backfield in this second half. It's been Chance Harris, and I don't see Lewis anywhere on the sideline from Red State. Coach Tenure showing. Carter Cravens in this Eagle offense, some confidence and some trust early. From their own 47, they need to get to midfield. The fourth down snap, quick pass out in the flat to Harris. He gets past one defender and past midfield for the first down. New set of change for the Eagles and into Yellow Jacket territory they go. Good play call there, a little swing screen and Harris has one move to make, and he gets the block, gets the first down. Good block from Harrison Cohen. Warren State rebounds from that third and long. He'll fake the pass. Rolling out to Cravens. That is going to be complete. Ryan up once again with Scott once again on the stop. Caleb Ramser in the backfield now for Moorhead State. Ramser came into the game only listed on the two deep as the kick returner, but he is viable in the pass game as a reception in this game as well. They will hand it off to him, and he will push forward. Did he get the first down? It's going to come down to a spot. The official is signaling that he did as Jones gets to stop. Caleb Ramser, 5'11", junior from Elk Grove, California. A lot of California guys on this Morehead State football team. From the 38, Eagles first and 10. Ramser once again gets the call with some laundry on the field. We'll see what the call is. Holding is going to be the call from the white hat Drew Myers. You mentioned California. I asked Rob Tenure last year at Media Day I said, Coach, I forget the exact number, but it was well into the double digits. I said, Coach, you know, school in Eastern Kentucky has so many players from California. What's going on there? And that's been a point of emphasis. That's something that their coaches have looked at. They make sure to travel out there. They make sure to recruit out there. And Morehead State's not an uncommon name in the football world out in California. We get a, quite a few players. Great state for high school football as well as Texas. Taking the handoff is Cravens. Plenty of time, rolling out right. Pass up the field complete to Daly. Kyle Daly, senior from up in New York. Good job by him to work back to the football. Still second and long, but playbook a lot more open on second and 13 or 14 than it is on second and 20. Tied in and two receivers left, one right. Cravens back to pass, and that is going to be complete. More laundry on the field as the pass was complete to Nate Bohm. And this was in the area where the quarterback went down, and the West Virginia State player threw up his hand. So part of me thinks this may be a personal foul, roughing the passer, and it is. So roughing the passer, we'll get a good look of it here. Your thoughts, Hunter? See Cravens back to pass, one, two. Can't quite see the end of it. You know, it's a point of emphasis to not land with your full body weight on the quarterback, at least in the National Football League. I didn't quite see the end of that play, but he definitely had, ball was gone and then one, two, and then he laid the hit. The way he initiated that hit, it looks like he was leading with the crown of his helmet, and obviously that's a big no-no anymore. Yeah, head down, not able to do that these days. Big emphasis on player safety. Same reason they have stopped the clock stopping on first downs in college football. Want to cut the game down by about 15 total plays. It's, it's the law of numbers. The less plays, the less opportunities for injury. Timeout here. 
taken by Moorhead State. And we're going to step aside with them. 24-21, Moorhead State leading and driving. Third quarter here on ESPN+. Plus. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. How do plastic bottles turn into this? See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile, and I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Moorhead State driving after West Virginia State takes their opening drive for seven points. Moorhead State will hand off to Ramser. Ramser stays on his feet, and he's going to have his helmet come off as he's pushed out of bounds at about the five-yard line. We're going to say he's out at the eight, pushed out by Lomax. Curious how the helmet came off, Hunter. As of my counterplay right here, and believed when he lowered the shoulder, the helmet started to come loose. But come off for a play, and it appears James Lewis now in the backfield from Warren State on first and goal. Lewis, 5'8", 185, junior from Hillside, California. Stands offset to the right of Cravens. He will hand off to Lewis, spins back to the middle of the field and battles for a couple yards. Lewis last year averaged 71 yards a game. Six yards a carry, six touchdowns. He's the main captain on this Moorhead State football team. Not exactly sure. It looks like we've got an injured yellow jacket down there. There is a yellow jacket on his back. Looks like that is a cramp being worked on. You can see his teammate there waiting for the training staff to come over. Again, not too hot, but like Hunter mentioned, this is the first true game for both of these teams, and you can't replicate a game. You can practice as much as you want, Hunter, but there's just something different about the pace and momentum, if you will, in a game. There's no such thing as replicating game speed. You know, the adrenaline that's pumping through these players whenever it's time to, you know, really strap it up and go and go out, and you're finally playing somebody in a different color uniform, you know, and battling with the guys around you. That puts, you know, a different mindset in your head if you're a football player headed into, you know, the first game setting. So. You know, maybe the adrenaline pumps through and sometimes, you know, you have cramps and you try to fight through them, but at the end of the day, cramps hurt. So take as much time as you need, you know, get those worked out. Haven't quite seen who this is down for West Virginia State, but they're still working on him. I've got my good old Bushnell binoculars out and still not able to tell who it is, but we will try to relay that information when we pass it along. 6-10 left here in the third quarter. While we have a moment, 
let's take a look at our upcoming schedules. Upcoming schedules are presented by the Kentucky State Police. Kentucky State Police is hiring the next generation of troopers who will serve the Commonwealth. New troopers will earn $61,500 a year with guaranteed raises throughout their career. We mentioned Mercer earlier in this game. Morehead State will travel to Mercer September 9th, 7 p.m. Then on the road at St. Thomas, September 23rd, then back at home for a matchup against Drake on September 30th. Taking a look at the calendar for West Virginia State, they will be back in action next Thursday at home against UNC Pembroke. Then on the road at Concord University on Saturday the 16th. Injured player Amari Lewis for West Virginia State. Big defensive tackle. He's done a nice job from that three technique, you know, interior lineman outside shoulder of the guard. He is still down as it stands. Couple massive matchups tonight in college football. Nebraska at Minnesota tonight at 8 o'clock. Florida at number 14, Utah. That game also set for 8 o'clock as well. NC State at UConn. A few other games of interest on the FCS level. Eastern Illinois at Indiana State. St. Francis at Western Michigan. Tusculum at Kennesaw State. Valparaiso at Youngstown State. And Arkansas Pine Bluff at Tulsa. We're going to take a break due to this injury. 24-21, Moorhead State leads West Virginia State third quarter here in Moorhead. If you want to make the most of your vacation, there's no better place than the Bluegrass State. Kentucky's 45 state parks offer abundant places to play and diverse accommodations to stay. Take a hike, float your boat, or bike the trails. Pitch a tent under the stars or settle into a lakefront lodge. Tee up for 18 holes, then enjoy a signature meal. Even better, Kentucky residents receive special discounted rates. Plan your trip at www.parks.ky.gov. got old so it's time to put her in a home it's the home i've always dreamed about i've been waiting to get old for years and that means i can get my ux people started on that app i need to develop i'm getting old right now with an expert to explain the differences between bond prices and bond yields introducing old national bank where relationships and results matter you're never too old to get old she's old old national bank get old Fiercely independent, a leader on the playing fields, in the classroom, among its fans, and throughout their communities. For 75 years, the Ohio Valley Conference has built a legacy of athletic accomplishment, academic excellence, and social justice leadership that has strengthened the conference and this region. That's why its 10 member schools proudly say, this year and every year, you have to OVC it. Omari Lewis, the injured Yellow Jacket, on the field for West Virginia State. 24-21 here in the third. We're going to get a look here of this play. Not sure if we're going to see much. As a handoff to Lewis. And there is 92 right there. Go down and looks like got piled up on by not only Lewis, but also a few of his teammates. And you can see immediately he signals to his teammate that something is wrong. And you know, you hope, because you see him plant right before he wraps Lewis up, and you hope it's not a non-contact injury. You know, we've seen those spike in the last few years in the game of football. You know, this is a violent game. Uh, oftentimes the injuries will be due to collisions, but every now and then, you know, the body can't hold up to what you're asking it to do. And uh, for Omari Lewis, you know, we wish the best for him up here. And I'm sure it'd be a big loss for West Virginia State, you know, a starter on the defensive line. 
We've had a pause in game action here. And we're going up on about four and a half minutes since we've had a play. You can see some of the players on both sidelines kind of jumping up and down, doing some jumping jacks, trying to stay warm. Good to see Lewis sitting up, and it appears Nazir Jones and an offensive lineman, John Fitzpatrick, are going to help him off the field. But it appears Lewis able to exit under his own power, and it is, uh, it's really good to see that. You know, don't want to see him. You know, obviously want to see him play, but don't want to see anybody get injured, period. And great to see him walk off under his own power, you know, down on the ground for around four or five minutes. But uh, Moorhead stayed in the red zone. It'll be second and goal from more about the seven, six-yard line and trying to punch this in one score game as it stands. Out jogs the offense. And Carter Cravens and company. Lewis will be in the backfield. Three receivers left, a tight end right. A lot of open field to the near sideline. Let's see if Cravens and the Eagles use any of it on second down. He'll take the snap. Three-step drop, immediately looking left. Going for the corner, incomplete. Intended receiver was Nate Bohm. It looked like more of a throw away than anything for Cravens, which is the right decision. You know, just throw that where absolutely nobody is going to be able to get it rather than toss it up and risk, you know, tip pass or defensive back able to make a play on the ball. We've really seen him grow throughout this game and, you know, gain more experience in that quarterback position. And that is a perfect example of his growth as a quarterback right there. Cravens takes the snap, hands off to Lewis, following blocker, staying on his feet and in for six. James Lewis runs it in for his first touchdown of the season. And Moorhead State extends their lead and an extra point away from having a 10-point lead. Well, Lewis right here, actually up here we lost him. They run a little counter right here. Might even be a power. Jackson Spears leads the way. Lewis just follows the big man, his left guard, and is able to bounce off a tackler and cut off that block right into the end zone. Six points on the board for Moorhead State. Six touchdowns last year, already one here this year. As Hazlett on for the extra point, as always, Warren on the hold. Good snap, good hold, kick up. Looks like it was partially blocked, but it still went through. It no doubt was partially blocked. It was spinning dead sideways as it went through the uprights. But guess what? It still counts the same, Hunter. Absolutely does, Jared. And see right here if we can tell who got a hand on it. Hazlett has a big leg. Couldn't quite tell who got the hand on it. A phrase, I, phrase I like to use in golf, Hunter, they don't ask how, just how many. And right there, they don't ask how it went through the uprights. They just want to know if it did. In terms of my golf game, it's always too many. So.
live sports, thousands of live events, ESPN Plus Originals, the exclusive home of the complete 30 for 30 library, exclusive access, top leagues and tournaments, and the biggest names in the game, ESPN Plus went everywhere. That far official, I think he was trying to see how high he could throw it. Have to think. And guilty party. Said number 18, but I don't have a number 18 on my roster. I think it may be one of those offsides, everyone but the secondary type penalties, or false start, everyone but the center. And there's not an 18 on the field. A five yard penalty, second and five. Into more Ed State territory go the Yellow Jackets. Riddick will hand off. And shy of the first down, that will depend on the spot. Holmes gets the tackle. It's McAdoo on the carry. Looked like Holmes and McClellan coming up from his safety spot. Playing a hit right there. Extra defensive back on, or at least a substitution from Red State here on this third and short. Four minutes left here in this third quarter. Third down and short from the 45. Take the snap, the handoff to McAdoo. He's met at the line and is going to be pushed back by Andre Nolan White. That's big boy football right there, meeting Absolutely. him at the line of scrimmage. Nolan White comes up. He's about four yards deep at the snap and is able to come up, wrap, and runs the feet. And he's able to get the stop. Now it looks like West Virginia State's going to keep the offense out there on fourth down. This is a big, pivotal point in this game as the crowd gets loud here at Jane Stadium. Loudest we've heard this crowd all night long. Riddick in the shotgun, and West Virginia State's going to talk it over, and I don't blame him. Such a pivotal play in this one as we wind down here in the third quarter. Coach John Pennington and company are going to talk it over. You know, pivotal point in this game. West Virginia State, you're down by 10. You're the underdog on the road. It gets loud in here real quick. Have to wonder what the play call might be. We haven't seen many designed runs for Donovan Riddick. He nearly ran for 600 yards last year. And you know, he's used his legs, used them at the end of the half on the Hail Mary attempt for West Virginia State. We'll see if they decide to use him right here. And they're gonna keep the offense out there, Jared. A lot of open field to the near sideline. Offense stays on the field, fourth down and two. West Virginia State going for it here in Jane Stadium. Riddick will take the snap, rolling out to his left. Riddick, it's a design run, and Riddick's not going to get there. Moorhead State stops him on fourth down. Couldn't see who got in there on the stop. Coming out celebrating was Luke Bauer, getting some love from his teammates. Might have been Andre Nolan White in there as well. He's fired up coming off the field, as you see there on the sideline. They went with sort of a sprint out action to the left. I thought originally he might throw. Riddick opts to go with his legs and it doesn't work out. Moorhead State with an opportunity to blow this one open with about three minutes left in the third. And you called it on the design run. It's just interesting they decide to run into the sideline that you're bunched up on. You have all that open field to the right and they decided to take it to Interesting decision there the opposite. Yep. by John Pennington to run into the boundary. You know, maybe you want to run to your own sideline and maybe get a favorable call if it's close, but it's about two yards short was Riddick on that fourth down try. In motion goes Armour. From the shotgun, Cravens will take it, and he'll hand off. Out to midfield goes Ramsor, and the ball's loose. Ball's loose, and West Virginia State's coming away with it. With it is Nick Blake. He's going to cut back and score. And West Virginia State gets the fumble and runs it in for six. And just like that, we could have a three-point ball game again. 
It looked like Christian Thompson came over. Initially a good run right here, as you see they go with a little pull action from the right guard. Ramps are on the outside, Christian Thompson comes in, and the hit, it looks like, comes from maybe Jai Martin, I believe is who that is, that forces the fumble on the back side. And Blake had one man to beat with a blocker ahead, and Carter Cravens, not much he could do. And you were right, that was Jai Martin initiating the fumble. You see right there, the hit comes in, helmet on the ball, ball's clearly out. Didn't notice it at first, and it doesn't appear anybody really did. Snap good, hold good, kick up, and it's good as well for Brennan Schmidt. 31-28, 2.57, and boy, what a wave of emotion. The stop on fourth down, and then all of a sudden you get it on offense, you lay it on the ground, and just like that, Morehead State's only leading by three again. They're getting the ball to come back out, and you think it would be big. You know, Caleb Ramser is a new guy on this Morehead State team, and the Eagles may... You know, you would think Rob Tenier may stay away from him with the veteran running backs ahead, but I would like to see him get a carry right here as Tenier was upset with the officials there on the sideline about maybe a spot out of bounds if Blake were to step out possibly. One thing I think that he's talking about, one of the players for West Virginia State's helmet came off during the play, and I believe the Morehead State coaching staff was trying to argue that he continued in the play. That is a 15-yard penalty. So, and a helmet definitely came off of a West Virginia State Yellow Jacket. There's no doubt about it, right at about the 35-yard line. So Brennan Schmidt will come on and kick off the 6'3 junior. As the sun has set, stadium lights starting to take full effect. And boy, does that turf look sharp. Really just a beautiful athletic complex as a whole here at Morehead State. You've got Sunny Allen Field, to our left and University Field behind it, the home of the Morehead State baseball and softball teams respectively. You know, the AAC behind us, Morehead State basketball and volleyball. A little pooch kick to the right side. That is going to be fielded by Bohm. And Bohm's not gonna go much of anywhere. He'll get out past the 30, where Morehead State will start first and 10. And you mentioned the turf, the turf brand new. They're gonna do renovations to the softball field. The baseball field's got renovations. They're pouring the track. We got a new basketball floor here at Morehead State a few years ago. Just, you know, with the hire of Kelly Wells and the money that Morehead State is being able to generate to fund some of these projects, it's exciting times right now here in the athletic department for Morehead State. Definitely is exciting times. You have to think uh, the Eagle Center as well. Mm -hmm. New turf in there, replace the old tennis courts, you know, training for all Morehead State athletes. Under three minutes as Morehead State hands off on this first down play and a gain of a couple. Looks like Nazir Jones in there on the stop. That was Harris on the carry. And it will be a two yard gain. West Virginia State has outscored Morehead State 14-7 here in this second half. Look at the difference in body language on the sidelines right now. All the momentum to West Virginia State. Cravens will take the snap, fake the handoff to Harris and drop back to Pats. Doesn't like what he sees and tucks and runs. Cuts back across the 40 where he's going to be tripped up right at the first down marker. Scott, the one who got the hand in there to trip him up, and we've got an injured Yellow Jacket. Down at about the 40, scratch that, make that the 37 yard line. It is Corlin Witcher, defensive lineman who is down. And looks like it may be a cramp again. Anytime you see that leg get propped up like that right away. A lot of times it is a cramp. Which are one of the main returning stars on this defense for West Virginia State. Really in the front seven, they brought a lot of talent back from last year's team. Good to see him already up and back on his feet. Witcher with three sacks last year, an abundance of tackles for loss. He and Nazir Jones, as well as Jalen Jones, really the leaders up front of this defense. You know, in the linebacking core, We've got Cameron Vargas, the leading tackler from a year ago. 
West Virginia State has a lot to be excited about as far as what we've seen in this game and ahead in the MEC, their conference. They were picked eighth in the conference, but definitely not playing like an eighth place team right now. And sometimes you see that with teams when they get that preseason ranking low, they get a little chip on their shoulder. I think the Morehead State basketball team a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Third and short. Hand off to Harris, trying to get around the edge, and the ball's fumbled, but goes out of bounds, luckily, for Moorhead State. What a hit by Jai Martin. And Chance Harris, slow to get up on the sideline, and he's immediately going to walk to the sideline. That was a huge hit. Jai Martin, a heat-seeking missile from the secondary. James Wayne tried to get a hand on him. Martin just flies past Wayne, and what a hit. And Moorhead State going to have to opt to punt here. Beware of the fake if I were West Virginia State. Kip Warren on the punt. Played previously at Louisiana Monroe. I believe this is the first punt of the day for Warren. Good snap. Wobbly punt, not the longest. It's going to take a Morehead State bounce and then bounce dead left out of bounds. At the 27 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for West Virginia State, and things starting to get a little tense in this Morehead State crowd. There was a buzz in the air prior to that scoop and score, and all of a sudden the air has completely come out of this building, and you don't want to say it's completely come out of this Morehead State team as they still lead by three, but all the momentum in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Minute left in this third quarter in a three-point game. Riddick in the shotgun. He'll take the snap, hand off to Felder. Felder's going to be hit just past the line of scrimmage. Short game. Couldn't quite tell who brought him down right there. Krizak, I think, is going to get at least half of a tackle. Feels like he's always in there. Or an assistant, however you want to word it, to be politically correct. Under a minute left third quarter. Reddick back to pass and he just heaves it out of bounds. That went all the way to the track and almost bounced into the stands. Obviously just throwing that one away. They keep going to this sprint out action to the left for Riddick. Despite him being a right handed quarterback, you wonder if he's more comfortable rolling that way rather than rolling to his dominant side. Riddick, a graduate student from Glen Allen, Virginia. Felder once again in the backfield with him. Tried to go hard count right there and possibly get a free play. Good discipline up front by Moorhead State. Third down, eight to go. From their own 29, West Virginia State, Riddick takes the snap. Goes down the near sideline, cutting back and making the catch is Monroe for the first down right at midfield. What a beautiful back shoulder ball from Donovan Riddick to Monroe. These guys have unreal chemistry. Watch right here, Eagles send pressure. Throw on the back shoulder. Good coverage by Lyons there in the secondary. Slips a bit on the turf, but nothing he could do ultimately. Just good throw and catch. Under 10 seconds, third quarter. Riddick is gonna step up. And this looks like this will be the final play of this third quarter. To the fourth quarter we go, and boy, do we have a dandy on our hands. Moorhead State 31, West Virginia State 28, and West Virginia State has the ball at midfield, looking to tie it up or take the lead here on ESPN+. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy. Just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. We all know it's a good idea to recycle. But what happens to that aluminum can or all that paper after you put it in the recycling bin? Where does it go? What does it become in its second life? 
see how WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at wm.com slash stories. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. I used to watch the Heisman House every year on TV. And I'd always wonder, is it real? It's very real. Take a little bit more up the top. Now that I've been here a while, it's a lot like campus. We have roommates. Hey, Caleb, just try and keep it down. It's nap time. Of course there's a gym. Ten. All right, people, here we go. Looking good, RG3. No, you're looking good, RG3. Yeah, so it's a lot we need like... Room, rookie. We're doing a ticky top. Bound, 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 just like bound. campus. Wait, wait. Fourth quarter upon us, 31-28. Hunter, we got a dandy on our hands right here. Beautiful football game thus far, and West Virginia State with all the momentum headed in to the final stanza. Riddick will take the snap, but too much movement for these officials. We're going to have to throw some laundry on the field. This will be a false start. So that'll back it up five yards. Not the ideal start to the fourth quarter. Definitely not. Still first and 15, and West Virginia State, at least on this drive, has shown no problem with getting chunks of yards at a time. See what they have here on this down and distance. So first and 15 as they are back in their own territory again. They hand off to Felder. Felder will get back to the original line of scrimmage, and that'll be it. Three or four Eagles dragging him down. Being led by Jaleel Holmes, said his name quite a bit. You know, this West Virginia State offensive line, not very big guys, average about 270, but they are aggressive and they push the pile on every run play. Back to pass, Riddick complete to Felder. The running back, and he'll be pushed out shy of the first down. Pushed out by Nolan White. Originally thought this was a dangerous throw. Felder makes a nice play and makes Caleb Lyons miss. Nolan White all over the place. Just able to push him out short of first down yardage. And it looks like we're going to have some personnel group issues ahead of this play. For West Virginia State, Monroe checks back in. Same side as Washington. That'll allow Moorhead State to substitute as well. Third down and two. Big play in this fourth quarter. The snap and the handoff. Being tackled behind the line of scrimmage is Felder. Didn't see who got to his ankles first. Bauer in the holes is what it looked like. One of them went low and the other one went high. And that's actually going to be a loss of about a half yard. Fourth down upcoming, and the punting unit will come on. Now, last season on uh, the homecoming game, Moorhead State against Valparaiso. We remember the fake punt. Valparaiso just about the same spot down in distance as well. Nearly caught Moorhead State with a fake punt to ice that game. Don't know if they want to play that game here, West Virginia State, that is, but we'll see what they have plus territory. Ramser standing at his own 10. Schmidt set to punt, and we are going to have a whistle. And 
that, that looks like that one was taken on purpose. Give your punter more room to work with. So fourth down and seven. I believe the White Hat forgot to mute his mic there when he was talking to his crew. Ramsher back to return. Good snap. Solid spiraling punt that Ramsher is going to field inside his five. Takes it to the 15 20, spin down at about the 23 yard line. And Morehead State will start first and 10 from there. And we're going to step aside here in this fourth quarter with 12.49 left. Morehead State leading 31 28 here on ESPN Plus. It's just a few cocktails at happy hour. It was just a few cocktails at happy hour. <laughs> you really good try. There aren't any cops around. I didn't think there were any cops around. I drink and drive all the time. Sir. Sir, you've been in a serious crash. I need you to hang on, okay? It's the excitement of the crowd, the crack of a bat, the sound of your own heartbeat, the roar of the engines. The spirit of competition runs deep here, from the dirt track to the cheap seats. Whether you're screaming from the stands or taking your place in the limelight, Southern Illinois is your ticket to all the action. In sports venues and recreational facilities for whatever your obsession is. Come to cheer, come to challenge yourself, but discover so much more when you visit SI. Fiercely independent, a leader on the playing fields, in the classroom, among its fans, and throughout their communities. For 75 years, the Ohio Valley Conference has built a legacy of athletic accomplishment, academic excellence, and social justice leadership that has strengthened the conference and this region. That's why its 10 member schools proudly say, this year and every year, you have to OVC it. First and 10 for Morehead State from their own 23-yard line, and they will hand off to Lewis. And Lewis goes nowhere, maybe a yard after he bounces off a couple of his own linemen. Drugged down by Jalen Jones for the Yellow Jackets. If you're Morehead State, priority number one, hold on to the football. Got to think priority number two is get some points on the board or at least run part of this clock off. Cravens calls for Bohm to go in motion. Two receivers each direction. The snap, three-step drop, passing down the sideline, trying to find Daly, but it's overthrown. On the coverage there was Nick Blake, sophomore cornerback. Just had the touchdown on the scoop and score in the third quarter. And he was stride for stride right there with Daly. Or it's a third long. Yeah, I was going to say just like that, it's third long. This West Virginia State defense is no joke. They haven't been able to generate a ton of pressure on Cravens with the front four. They've been able to blitz and get some pressure on him. But outside of that, not too much. But the secondary has been nails. Cravens back to pass, having to escape the pocket. He's going to try to run for the first down, and he will. And the head coach, John Pennington, irate at the officials. He thinks they missed an obvious call. Not sure what the call he's thinking of, but he is all the way down to the 23-yard line, and that's first and 10, Morehead State from the 34. They send pressure right there. I think he might want to hold on either Bohm, the wide receiver there on that block, or James Wayne, but that is the risk you take, sending pressure and playing man defense behind it. Nobody to count for Cravens. 
Cravens looking deep again, has a man open and it's Bohm. That is complete into Yellow Jacket territory, brought down by Blake, but a huge play. And there's a Moorhead State player slow to get up. Looks like Nate Bohm is that player. They go with a little post and a wheel route combo right here and put Blake in conflict as to who to pick up. Bohm open, nice play call. And it appears Bohm is the injured eagle. And I want to mention, you know, we've seen a couple ankle turns now. This is new turf. Do you want to keep that in mind? That will happen on new turf. You know, those cleats will stick in the ground a little more. It's kind of like that catcher's mitt you got as a kid. Kind of took you a while to break it in. Kind of what I would think. I'm not a turf expert, so Neither my, my turf my management knowledge is not, you know, way up there. But yeah. one would think it would, you know, break in over time. That is something that can happen with new turf. Can also, you know, help players run a little faster. You know, you can cut a little better, but you do run that risk of possibly turning an ankle or your cleat getting stuck in the ground. From the 31-yard line, they hand off to Lewis. Lewis skirts left, back right. Inside the 30, he goes. Thompson on the stop for the Yellow Jackets. Thompson has really had a nice game from that linebacker spot. Playing sideline to sideline, gets north and south when he needs to as well. Covers a lot of ground from the inside. Cravens in the shotgun, three-step drop, flushed out of the pocket. Passes down the sideline, has a man wide open. That's going to be Daly, and his momentum took him out of bounds or he would have had a little bit more room to run. Kyle Daly, the senior wide receiver. Looks like I thought he might get called for illegal touching. We've got a player down for West Virginia State. This throw right here, I thought Daly was nearly out of bounds. Can't quite tell who that is. You see the leg up in the air, possible cramp again. Looks like that is Christian Thompson, and we'll take a break. 31-28, another injury here at Jane Stadium, fourth quarter on ESPN+. State in the red zone. First and 10 from the Yellow Jackets, 17. Eagles leading by three, looking to add some more. Cravens in the shotgun, will take the snap and hand off to Lewis. Lewis threads the needle between blockers, spins inside the 10 yard line. Nice chunk there. Couldn't quite tell who brought him down. Vargas had a shot at it. They run a little trap play inside. Jackson Spears skip pull. Good block on Vargas, who was unable to make a play on Lewis. Second down. 
Second down, two to go. They'll hand off to Lewis, who's hit from behind. That is going to be Cameron Vargas once again on the stop. Able to make the play that time, came off the edge. Lewis asks for a sub, and Caleb Ramser is going to come into the Eagle backfield. And we're going to have another injury. Looks like Harrison Cohen cramped up for Moorhead State. Six-foot redshirt junior from Fort Mill, South Carolina. And it's that left thigh that he is holding. Wide receiver turned tight end this year. Small tight end group for Moorhead State, just six of them. We've seen Nicholas DeTore and Cohen primarily today. Cohen had a nice catch on an underneath route earlier in the ball game. Well, we have a minute. Let's take a quick glance at our upcoming schedules presented by the Kentucky State Police. We've already looked at them one time, but let's take another glance at those schedules for Moorhead State at Mercer. That one's going to be a tough one, September 9th, 7 o'clock. Then at St. Thomas and then hosting Drake the following weekends. Uh, the 2 o'clock kickoff set for those two Pioneer Football League affairs. Three tough football games right there. St. Thomas, since joining the PFL, has only lost two games in conference play. Third down, two to go. Red State has a solid field goal kicker, but if they get it to like fourth and one, could be four down territory. I believe you got to go for it at that point. Ramser will get the handoff, and Ramser has space to run. Stays on his feet and wins the race to the pylon. Touchdown, Eagles. Caleb Ramser, the 5'11 junior, on third down, gets around the edge and wins the race. Again, Ramser fumbled on the scoop and score for West Virginia State to cut the score to just a three-point game. Big time play right there, good blocking up front. He finds the space on the outside and is able to scoot in for the touchdown. Just to push the lead out to 10 for Hazlett. Warren on the hold as usual. Good snap, good hold, kick up. And it is no good. Wide left and nine points is where the lead will stay for Moorhead State. Fourth quarter here on ESPN Plus. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for Business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic time. Extra point, no good after the nine play, 78 yard, three minute, 38 second drive. As Caleb Ramser runs it in from 10 yards out. Hazlett on for the extra point. 
huge from a momentum perspective for Moorhead State and on the scoreboard, obviously, make this a two-possession game. Washington back to return, and he signals the fair catch. That one we definitely saw. Had a fair catch earlier that Moorhead State sideline didn't really notice. Some of the players didn't notice, but the officials saw it, so that's all that mattered. That one, though, a no-downer, and that will bring the football out where West Virginia State will start first and 10 from the 25. You like that fair catch rule? I do like that fair catch rule. You know, the kickoff is probably the most dangerous play in football. Uh, from a player safety perspective, that's probably the best way to go with the fair catch. You know, you can still have the electrifying plays on special teams, but nonetheless, if you know, keep your players safe, the fair catch rule, you know, if it's a shorter kick, you're gonna have a lot of high-speed collisions. Keep the guys safe with that rule. First and 10, quick pass out in the right to Washington. That's going to be complete. And he'll get a decent little chunk. Porter on the stop on that far side. Zane Porter's had a really nice game from that kind of nickelback spot. Flying sideline to sideline. He's done a good job in coverage. Second and five. They call Felder's number, and Felder's going to get enough for the first down and a little bit more out past the 40. Porter again on the stop right there. Caleb Lyons in as well. See right here, they run a little power play, but he's able to bounce it out. He's got enough speed to get to the edge and pick up positive yards and get a new set of chains for the Yellow Jackets. First and 10 from their own 42, West Virginia State's Riddick will take the snap, fake the handoff, and pass over to the right, and that's going to be dropped. That one hit right in the hands of Monroe and popped right out. Haywood, the third, is going to say he had a little something to do with that, though, on the coverage. Yeah, that one's more so just a drop. Once again from the 42, this time second down for the Yellow Jackets. Happy to have you along here on ESPN Plus. Herner Hurst alongside him, Jared Stacy. Opener for the 2023 season for both these two squads. Riddick takes the snap, passes out to the right again. This time it is going to be complete. Staying on his feet is Monroe and will be pushed out shy of midfield by Holmes, Jalil Holmes. Went right back at Haywood, who's a new face in the secondary for Moorhead State. Had him wrapped up, but Monroe able to get out of the grasp of Haywood the third. You see here, Moorhead State sends pressure off the weak side. Good job to break that tackle by Monroe. Third and short upcoming for West Virginia State. Third and three, Riddick calls for a man in motion. He will take the snap. He'll keep it himself, run right up the middle, and he's going to be right at the first down marker, and the official already moving his arm saying he got there. And by my rough eye, it did look like he got there. Yeah, I don't think you need a measurement right there. It was close. You see here, Riddick jumps, and yeah, the ball's right on the sticks. He definitely got there. First down for the Yellow Jackets. Still life for West Virginia State. Approaching seven minutes left here in the fourth. They hand it off to Felder. And Felder's going to be drugged down after another gain of about five or so. Helmet comes off of one of the Moorhead State players. Looked like Krizak in there on the stop, and we have an eagle down and in some pain right at the midfield logo. One eagle down, one eagle had to come off because his helmet came off. Trying to see who that was who came off. Maybe Rogers came off. A defensive back. Do not know who the injured player is right now for Moorhead State. But Can't quite tell from here. Looks like they're working on that shoulder, that right shoulder. 37 28, 705 there left here. Up. That's Luke Bauer, who's had a really nice game in his first game as a Moorhead State Eagle. A transfer from Akron, a native of Akron, Ohio, has a sack in this game, a tackle for loss. That would be a big loss at what Moorhead State calls their animal spot. That's a pass rushing defensive end. But he's really been sideline to sideline all over the place and working with trainer Kyle Wolf right now. Second down and five. West Virginia State can't take the lead on this possession, but they can sure help out their own cause quite a bit. Riddick. 
Dumps out to Felder in the flat. Felder cuts back towards the sideline and is going to dash out and get the first down. Pushed out by Krizak. But another set of new chains as we'll get a great look of it here. Just a little swing screen, good blocks, way to read them and just human joystick type moves there from Felder to get the first down. That hurt my ankles looking at that, those two cuts. I'd still be laying there. 37 yard line, first and 10 in Eagle territory for the Yellow Jackets. Take the handoff. The pass down the sideline, that's gonna be complete. The race to the end zone, and did he get in? He did. It is Javon Monroe. Beat Caleb Lyons deep. You see Lyons there with his helmet off. Monroe here looks like a little stop and go, and he ends up beating Lyons deep, caught him on his heels, and the race to the end zone, he wins. And just like that, it's a one possession game once again. Javion Monroe, nice run after the catch. 37 yards. Monroe now seven catches, 133 and a touchdown. And the kick is good for the extra point. And just like that, it's a two point game and West Virginia State will kick off when we come back here on ESPN Plus. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy, just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense, we make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun, and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. At Doss, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you build an all pretzel pantry with a biometric security system. Doss, sensationally seasoned pretzel. Back here at Jane Stadium, 617 left here in the fourth quarter and I would not touch that. Whatever device you're watching us on, I would not change it because we've got a dandy on our hands here right now. A two point game as West Virginia State it's a little runner that Morehead State's just going to fall on, and I think that's the smart play. Have to see who that is who hopped on that. That was Matthew McClelland, redshirt freshman. First time we mentioned his name. That is, at Morehead State, you've got to choose some of this clock right now. West Virginia State has not led in this game. They have been tied, and currently they trail by two. A field goal would win this contest for the Yellow Jackets. For me personally, it would be the Xbox controller I would not be touching right now with this game on my television. I watch a lot of my iPad, ESPN Plus. I got the Roku, you know, the Xbox, Roku in the living room. You know, I got the Xbox in the bedroom. 37 yard line, first and 10 for Moorhead State. Cravens hands off and a short gain on first down for James Lewis. On the tackle, TJ Lomax. 
I was talking with a coworker the other day. Is there an easier subscription that you know you're going to pay for every month at ESPN Plus? No. It may be the last one I ever drop. I, I would definitely say so myself. I would say the only one I know I'm going to pay for each year is NFL Sunday Ticket outside of ESPN Plus. That's the only one I know I'm going to pay for. Second and seven. Hand off to Lewis again. Trying to squeeze past tacklers and will gain another short amount, or small amount rather. Tell you what I like to do is you call your cable or satellite provider, say that you're going to leave them and switch, and then they'll offer you a special deal. And you say, I'll oh, throw in Sunday ticket. Why not? Absolutely. You know, you got to play the game. Well, now with it on YouTube TV, it's a, little, you know, mm -hmm. a little different. Third down, three officially, but it's a long three. Huge moment in this one as the clock passes five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Third ever meeting between the two. They've split the first two as Cravens. Quick dump off to Lewis, wide open in the flat. Across midfield, stays on his feet down inside the 40 to the, or to the 35. TJ Lomax, possibly a touchdown saving tackle. Blitz called right there for West Virginia State. And just a little rail route or maybe even an arrow for Lewis. And with his speed and out of the backfield a threat in the receiving game, or the passing game, excuse me, able to turn up and make a nice gain for Moorhead State. They'll be able to tick off more than this clock. Remember, only two timeouts left for either side. They both took one in the third quarter. And the clock runs here first and ten. Four and a half left in this one as Cravens looks over to the sideline. Gets the play call and will step up to the line and back in the pistol formation this time. Lewis bounces over to that left side. Quick pass, dump off out into the right flat for a small gain that to Ryan up. 5'10 graduate student. On the tackle was Avery Scott. Upon making that catch up, stumbled a little bit and actually washed yardage, but Scott was all over that one. Head up, not slipped. You have to think he's been a sure tackler all night, probably doing it again right there. And good point about actually losing about a half yard. Under four minutes. Carter Cravens, the Cypress, Texas product. We'll take the snap, hands off directly to Lewis. Lewis trying to get around the edge, staying on his feet down to the 30-yard line. A good chunk on second down, and that'll bring up third and medium. Looks like Jalen Jones on the stop right there. Lewis came up a little slow and limps to the bench right there, and he sits down, as you can see. Looks like that'll bring Ramser into the backfield for Moorhead State. It will. He's back there with Cravens. Third down and five. Would expect hard count right here if I'm up front for West Virginia State. Try to draw them off sides and get the free first down. Under three minutes. Play clock under five. The snap, the handoff. Actually, no, he keeps it. It's a keeper for Cravens, and he is going to get around the edge. And did he get enough for the first down? He did. He gets inside the 25, that's a first down. That fooled me and pretty much everyone on the West Virginia State first run defense. For, first run of the game for Carter Cravens, this exact same play he pulled it and got a first down early on in the first quarter. I don't know how he took that back from Ramser. It was all the way in his lap. So first down and 10. Clock management right here for West Virginia State. You probably want to call timeout prior to this play. But, oh, false start. Yep, false start's going to be called on uh, Jackson Spears, 6'2 junior. Spears, one of the captains and the leader in the offensive line room. Looks like he might have just lost his balance a little bit in his stance right there. So first and 15 now. Getting back to clock management. Clock now stops after the penalty, at least for the time being. 
first and 15. And West Virginia State, if it were me on the sideline over there, I think I'm going to wait to call timeout until after second down. We have not seen either quarterback go under center one time tonight. It's a different world these days, Jared. Cravens hands off to Ramser. Ramser going absolutely nowhere, and a timeout's going to come in from that far sideline as Witcher gets the stop. So West Virginia State elects to take one of their two remaining timeouts right here. And second down upcoming. There's really no correct way with two timeouts in this situation to use them. Really, it's in your best judgment. And you know, a winning head coach, John Pennington, 34 and 25, entering you know his seventh season at West Virginia State. If this is how he wants to use them, he's comfortable with that. Second and 15 upcoming. We'll see how he calls his final timeout. Try to give as much time to his offense as he can. Ball will be on the 29-yard line. Morehead State with two timeouts remaining, just one for West Virginia State. Total yards in this one, 457 for West Virginia State, 288 of that through the air. Morehead State, 412 total, 236 through the air. Two players over 100 yards. Monroe with 113 yards receiving and Felder with 117 yards rushing. Morehead State's really been running back by committee in this game. 72 for Lewis, 64 for Carter Cravens. He's had a fine game both through the air and controlling the game with his legs. Ramser with 24 and a touchdown and Chance Harris with 16 yards of his own. Second down, 17 to go from the 29. Cravens takes the snap. Tucks and keeps it himself, and he has room to run inside the 20, inside the 15, and down near the 10. Under two minutes left here at Jane Stadium, and another first down for Morehead State. That one just might ice it, Jared. What a play on the power read from Carter Cravens. Reads the linebacker, pulls, shoots straight up the gap. He's burned West Virginia State with his legs a few times tonight. None bigger than that one right there as Moorhead State may have just put the finishing touches on the season's first win. Another timeout taken by West Virginia State, and we'll just stay right here with you. Dan, do you have a ball game, Hunter? It has been a fine evening for football. Beautiful weather for it. You know, there's a chill in the air. That means it's football season. And in my household, if you're not excited for football season, well, you're not human. And this just week one, you know, we had week zero games last weekend. Good slate on deck tonight. Good slate this weekend as well. And Moorhead State really trying to build momentum headed into PFL play. You know, they play Mercer that other non-conference game before they move into conference action. West Virginia State, you know, their upcoming schedule. The road's going to be tough for both these teams, but they have showed tonight. They have talent, they've got the will to win, and they've really put it all on the line here at Jane Stadium. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Absolutely, completely agree with you. It's been a pleasure to call with you as well. Absolutely, year two for year the two? Round County boys up here. Round County, the local high school here in Moorhead where Hunter and I both graduated from. Make sure people get that reference. There you go. And we've got victory formation under center for the first time. Cravens will take the snap and everyone knows what that is. That's a knee to run some clock. And barring something crazy happening, Moorhead State's going to eke out a victory and the key word there is eke out. Absolutely, they've been put to the test by the Yellow Jackets this evening. Nothing to hang your head about if you play for West Virginia State or if you're a West Virginia State fan. Valiant effort this evening. You know, great plays across the board. Obviously, a new target, Javion Monroe, among the returners who didn't see a lot of action last season for West Virginia State, but he's had a fine evening here tonight. And it appears this will be the end of the line in week one for both these teams. Keep in mind, Morehead State back in action next Saturday at Mercer, 7 o'clock kickoff. And next Thursday will be another Thursday night game for West Virginia State. They will play UNC Pembroke, 6 o'clock at home. 
there in Institute, West Virginia. So one more knee here on third down, and this one's going to be final. 37-35 as Moorhead State is going to walk out of Jane Stadium with an opening victory to this 2023 campaign. A lot of bright spots for both teams for sure, but no doubt, you know how football coaches are, Hunter. There's going to be something or maybe many things that these coaches are going to want to improve. But for Moorhead State, at the end of the day, they took care of business here on their home opener. Definitely so. You know, getting the win to kick off the season, always a big deal. You know, it doesn't matter who the opponent is. Last year they beat Kentucky Christian week one. Season didn't go how they wanted it to. A competitive game here to test Moorhead State early on could be huge for them in the running the rest of the season. Maybe sort of a wake-up call, if you will, for West Virginia State. Huge to come in here. You know, you're a Division II school place facing a Division I opponent. You come in here and you compete, and you give Moorhead State everything you got. And it's not quite enough, but it's a two-point game that could have swung either way at any point in time. You showed a lot of good signs. A lot of guys showed that they can play at this level, and it'll be exciting to see where both these teams go the rest of the season. We work with a great team here at Moorhead State and the ESPN Plus production crew, director Aaron Guy, producer Joe Campione, KJ Long on camera, Adam Coleman, Harvey Rice as well, our camera operators. Graphics was Talia Campione and a red hat tonight was Noah Markham. So for Hunter Hurst, I'm Jared Stacy saying so long from Jane Stadium in Moorhead, Kentucky, where the final score, it's Moorhead State 37, West Virginia State 35. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. At Doth's, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you build an all pretzel pantry with a biometric security system. Doth's, sensationally seasoned pretzels. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99, it's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business.